Never mind me while I'm stepping out my circumference I feel the nerves trickling down It's life humbling My words start a stumbling Staggered on court of God This the life of a jiggaboo introverted on God Whoa My mother been the melodies While they sing the choruses Direct messages from slaves Saying we need more of it Paranoia in my state I see envy at high rates Now it's crop off the fate Turn great so I fly straight Was gone for a minute Now I'm back like an ex with big factors I see you turn flat like an extinct Like some raptors When I drop food prayer purposes And practice and patience We move the greener path they're saying life is a matter of mastering basics and mastering patience More time I get tired of waiting Maybe it's fake procrastinating The times are bad short It really had me sprung Like she got me doing things that I never do huh. You thought that we connected When in fact it was trauma bonding Just leave it up to me to break the rules Never corresponding My childhood filled with fence climbs And knee scrapes and bikes And kicking it by the street signs The older I get I'm trying to lessen any screen time The bounce back heavy I rock steady on climbs This world's a fucking loop The news will pick and choose Whatever truth they want to give to you I cannot storm a kit so I Poop. Oops, when life turns sweeter, the lemon mouths get louder. But I'm amplified with ghosts from God, like that boy Fowler. Working like I got that point to prove. But truth be told, the proof is right in the pudding, no point to lose. Uh. 60 for the crepes, yeah, I did that just because. She expected more, girl, you know I'm saving up. Left me on red, well, it was what it was. Never stress over them joints or in downs when times get rough, so I ghost. Long are the days when we was close, and when I see you, it's like two completely different type of ghosts. I approach the weekly fire dropping, which I'm feeding. Still, I don't expect to be the one your boy having but still the songs get spun like Beyblades and teacups My fun fair to those that ever really know me from junk So what's up, huh? I've been the one they all depended on like TJ Now they're dead wilder than a furry knockout punch Leaving them straight stunned, it's hella fun, uh. Mute. Yeah, I was mistake. about to tell you. <laughs> Rookie mistake there, man. Big up everybody inside the bill. Din, hope you guys are well this morning. Yes, we are back for another early morning session. GTA. No, we're not talking about San Andreas. We're here to talk football. We're here to talk about the Champions League last night. Um, Arsenal versus Bayern Munich. Manchester City versus Real Madrid. Very, very good games last night. And also, of course, I had to throw a little dash of some Liverpool news in the building. But, of course, I can't do this by myself, man. You know, I had to I had to bring the guy, I had to bring the boy. And chat to the people there, man. How are you this morning, bro? Um, do you know what, bro? Good, man. Yesterday was a long day. Today feels like it's a good day, man. So I'm just chilling. Going to have my cup of chamomile tea. Relax. Listen to what you have to say. Any agendas, I'll try and squash it. If I need to bring up any agendas, I'll do it myself. Um, but yeah, hopefully the chat is good as well, man. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, big up, big up. And Cav, if you're free, please let me know, man. We could jump in as well. Love to have a chitter chatter, guys. Of course, ends with his here early morning, you know, space. But it was a good, it was a good space this morning. It was, it, this was this was an actual chill zone. That space <laughs> that was the definition of a chill zone where. Everyone was just on vibes. We're just having a nice little chat. Spoke a little bit, obviously, about the games last night. And then, of course, speaking about Liverpool and players and the new and the Portuguese Pep Guardiola, who looks like he might be, you know, coming in. But we'll talk more about that this later is, on. Gee, this is the issue, though, because, you know, when we say you're going to start that. So if he doesn't do that, then everyone's going to be like, oh, you compared him to Pep. And no, no, no. But, but remember, guys, remember, when Pep Guardiola came in in his first season, didn't he finish mm. third or something? I'm sure he yeah. finished third. Yeah. So if he finishes third, then technically he'll be on the same trajectory as Pep Guardiola when he, when he joined Manchester. I'm not Manchester. part of this agenda, bro. That's all I'm <laughs> going to say from now. I'm not a part of that. Big up, Doug. Big up, Doug. Guys, make sure you head on over if you're over here, of course, on YouTube. First of all, smash the likes. But secondly, head on over to the Doug Out football channel. Please, please, please. Hope you are well, Doug. Hope you are well. Also, Enzo's 
um what do you call it ends of at is on my feature channel list so guys you already know and most of you of course follow him subscribe to him already but if you don't and you're brand new and you're here for the first time make sure you subscribe to my channel and then make sure you subscribe to ends channel as well big up zane in the building trossard is like another jota with less injuries uh, pff, who knows man who knows maybe something along those kind of lines but i think jota's a bit more a bit more deadlier a bit more deadlier and um, big up kevin uh big up big up man hope you are well look like you're an arsenal fan so of course let's even just dive straight into it of course last night's game two two first leg of the quarterfinal champions league it was a good game mm. it was a good game it was a good game um obviously arsenal starting off well with saka of course getting that goal um i felt like in the first would i say few first few minutes and, and you too I'll, I'll be real the first half of the game i felt like arsenal were imposing themselves they mm. were the home team the crowd behind them all of that kind of good stuff and i felt like they were trying to do their bit to of course you know make the game as interesting but also just trying to show Bayern, like you know like this isn't the arsenal of old we all remember old school arsenal versus Bayern. The, the M games there, yeah. Arsenal fans did not like those kind of games. So I felt like because this is a new new era under you know Mikel Arteta, and then of course mm. you've got the Bayern Munich who are not having the greatest of seasons. I, this was that type of game, and you can see Arsenal started like that, but they obviously get get their first goal. How was you looking at it? You know, prior to the game started, you know, how did you kind of see things potentially panning out? Um, I was flicking between both games to be fair. Um, I, I'll tell you, I spent league more league. time paying attention to the Real Madrid Man City game, yeah. Of course, um, yeah. That was like more my interest because I thought those were the, the two. Um, with Arsenal, man, they, when I heard that obviously Bayern didn't have no home fans and Arsenal had everyone, and the form Arsenal was in looking at Bayern over across this season, they haven't been that good to be fair. They score goals, but they just haven't been that good as a unit defensively. Um so I thought maybe, you know, Arsenal go and win it. But then at the same time, I'm like, Bayern's got players that could hurt you guys. And when I was listening to Arsenal fans and they were just like, we're going to go and smoke these lot, we're going to go and do this. And I'm like, yeah, I get the confidence, but they have still got one of the best finishers in the world. They yeah. have still got a couple of the best wingers and you got Musiala in the mix. You still got some top players there. It's just they haven't been able to put it all together in one this season. Mm. But yeah, Bayern you would probably say on they probably edged the game uh, i think for me bro i think they should have won i think they just edged it slightly um they obviously got their goals um i think sane should have scored at least another one i know coleman obviously hit the post um and then they should have had a penalty as well like regardless of whatever the excuses is bro like that you blew the whistle and told man and he took it and then the next man touches it that's a pen to me bro so i think just on average i think yeah, Bayern should have won. Maybe 3-2. I think that would have probably been a fair result. But a 2-2, still cool. No, no, no. I feel you. And guys, big up Savage in the building again. Savage's channel is on my feature channel list. So please... Bro, I, went, I went into all of your... I went into every other stream about this one. I didn't see the message on Twitter, so I went into... Um, is it who is truly real world class? So I went into Amarim later. I was like, huh? Then I checked the thing and I was like... Because I saved it in my notes yesterday. Yeah, so have, I put them, have I put the time wrong? It says half four here. Well, you just oh, no, no, that's the one that's the, that's the Amrin one later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just going into the nightclubs on that. See, this is what I, I, listen, by the way, people, I told Savage, oh, Savage, time ago, by the way, I told Savage, oh, give me your number because at least then it's easier to message. By I the way, he's my PA, bro. He didn't ask anything. Oh. What do you want me to do, bro? <laughs> okay, okay, Savage, it's okay. You think I run okay. around with my number, bro? I don't, I don't need to know it. Savage, it's okay. Oh, but so you, you, we we will first. correspond after the stream. Oh, not like yeah. a baddie, bro. I'll send it to you, man. <laughs> Savage, how are you this morning, though? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You just spoke. I was just in the space with you, man. This okay, like... but the people weren't in the space. So, obviously, oh. for the people over here on YouTube, sorry, 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 I'm sorry, asking man. you for the. Jesus. All right, man. Hey, I feel sexy today. I listen to R&B <laughs> and nah, nah, get this guy off screen. Bro, sometimes you just have to tell the truth, innit? Nah, a G, get him off. Bro, bro, listen, if you man don't want to love yourself, safe, innit? But get I had a rough impression. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shower in that R&B. You know what I think? 
I'm ready still. Like, I'm ready, bro. Like, if all I have to do is get the vocals up and it's over for people, bro. Don't let me, bro. Don't bring you go around me with my open shirt in the summer, but it's long, but it's <laughs> affecting me. But anyway, apart from that, I'm good, bro. Football's good. It's all fun and games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. P-Man talk about Arsenal game. I I can't even lie, bro. I only got to see the highlights because I watched mm. Madrid, obviously, because why would I watch them bombs? And, uh, of course. Yeah, from because from what I heard, but to be fair, it was from Arsenal fans because I was trying to pit through the streams and all that. Um, and then some of the pundits they were just saying that Arsenal dominated the game and they just made mistakes. But uh, Angel said that I think he thinks that Bayern Munich edged it a little bit. So I don't know. I don't really know what that game. Held, but I've seen the penalty decisions and all that. Definitely a penalty. Definitely. Penalty. Which one? Which one? Which penalty decision are you talking about? No, nah, Saka's one's not. It's not a penalty. Bro. That's a dive, bro. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because, Beb, obviously, I, I already know. Forget Arsenal, what Arsenal fans are saying, mm -hmm. because we know that they're going to say that this is a penalty. And do you think this is a penalty? Gee, there's one thing I need to... I, I realise how, how this got me mad, yeah, because I realise the world that we live in now don't actually care about the truth no more. They just care about the reactions of the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at everyone. Is this a penalty? You can clearly see the guy leaves the ball to go and jump into the goalkeeper, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. It, it's not even an argument, bro. And if you think it, if you think it's a penalty, stop talking to me. <laughs> it, doesn't even, it doesn't even look like a penalty from the picture. Bro, I can't even trust your opinion on stuff, bro. If you don't tell me just using your logic and using common sense and just being taking the emotions away and looking at that going, bro, big man. You're a cool player in that, but stop the diving, man. Yeah, yeah. Stop the diving, like, bro. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Don't it look like to you? Like, on this picture, if you didn't watch the game or the, see the penalty, it, look, it looks like the only way you can get to that position is if um, Saka ran from behind the goalkeeper, bro. Bro. Yeah, yeah literally. Literally. Because if you're running towards him, why have you left the ball to do that? That's why I said he could have stayed on his foot. Because when I was watching it on replay, I thought it was, I thought it was party at first, and I was like, man's medium front of goal. What's he doing? I was mm. like, no way did he do that, man. That's yes, crazy. that racism kicking in, by the way. That, that's what that is. But oh, on. no. Well, they, they do look the same. <laughs> Black people always look the same with the same hairdo. So, yeah. I said what I said. <laughs> They're both African as well, so I can see where the, the resemblance would even come in. But, now, nah, all jokes aside, people, all jokes aside, we're looking at this. Everything ends just said there, bro. Like, I'm even now, I'm even uh, having a debate with one of my boys who's an Arsenal fan, and he's saying it's a pen, of course, all day long. And the thing is, I said to him, I hear it from your, of course, your perspective. And just if you, even if I, if you took out his bias towards Arsenal, I can see where you are coming from. But Enz just said it perfectly, bro. He literally left his right leg. He didn't even need to do that. Like you could have just rounded the keeper and scored, bro. You, last minute of the game. Well, sorry, the last kick of the game. Because last that, that was literally the last kick. I thought he was going to get up and get a yellow card. That's how bad I thought it was. Yeah, same, same. Because I thought when the referee, when I saw the referee do that, you know, in like when they like wave their hands like this, yeah. and then he carried it. I thought, all right, he's gonna book Saka, you know, he's actually gonna book Saka. Was so, the, sorry, the goalkeeper, the referee was so close to the action, exactly. even the, the stoop thing that makes sure I've seen it. Yeah, bro, so, I, I was right. No, 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 yeah, 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 nah, man, you, why are you that? Why are you throwing yourself into the goalie, bro? I nearly injured him, bro. He nearly, he's limping all the time after the game and me doing the whole, yeah. I'll get out of my face. What are you doing, like? Bro, you nearly injured yourself for your team just because you wanted to do dumb stuff. Nah, it was it, it was dumb. Around the keeper, bro. Bro, and and you see things like this year. It's almost like, and listen, look, people talk about Saka and they say Saka's like he's like a prototype almost in terms of hasn't got that naturalness about him. Like they say, oh, you know, you can tell he's been brought up from the academy. That kind of prototype winger where it's like, okay, this is your job. There's no natural instinct about him it's things like this that almost then make me think he might be a little a little piece right because the reality is any other winger i feel is just going round him bro like they, they just they'll just have something about just to go round and finish because obviously they'll also have the maturity and the kind of experience about them to know i've got a better chance of just going around him because noia's already rushed out at whatever 100 miles an hour anyway so any slight, the touch that you did take, if you actually just followed that yourself instead of trying to run into the keeper, bro, you score, open net. That's it. Last kick of the game, we win. We move on to the next game. Simple. Everyone's happy. You scored the winner. You scored two goals in a game. Everyone's calling you the world-class player that they say you are all of these little things. But unfortunately, 
the inexperience almost kicks in. And I feel like he almost learns from other people where it's like he dives. I say he dives quite a bit Does. in games. And and I think to myself, bro, I feel like you, you've been watching the wrong wingers. <laughs> like the, whatever wingers you're watching, you need to stop watching them because they're not diving in those situations. I they're just Jay, Jay Zeus, man, he dives all the time as well. Bro, Jay, Jay listen, like, like it, it's annoying. It is annoying. So listen, look, I'm going to agree with the, with, with the two of them here. Uh, ends and Savage, and I'm going to say I don't think it was a penalty. Again, my Arsenal fans, don't shoot me. I understand why you would think it is a penalty, and I we don't. can. No, no, I can understand, but I don't. from every time I say I can understand, for me, that's why you can't then give the penalty because for when you can see both sides of the incident, the referee yeah. obviously is thinking the same thing. That's why he can't give. He can't make a decision. He's not sitting there thinking, yeah, that's conclusive. That's a penalty because then he would give the penalty, right? And he's also yeah. not in there thinking that Saka's dived. So he's also thinking, shit, I don't know if he's dived or if it's actually yeah. a penalty. I heard but VAR he didn't even look at it. So I was like, but then right, here's VAR the problem, though, G. G, G, it has to be one or the other, bro. It can't be no in between. It can't be a gray area. It's either a foul, either you, you dived or the goalkeeper fouled you. On, on, this, on, on this particular incident or in general? I think in general, you can have, you can, you, I've seen loads where, it's not a foul, and the person didn't dive. Just coming together, and it's not. Wait, there's a comment. Okay, but this one yeah. definitely because I saw yeah, the action of the player, and you know what I, I realized as well, and and it's hard. I don't want to keep saying it, but I think when you play football, no matter what level, grassroots, whatever it is, with your mates, you you can look at that and go, I would have just gone round him and tapped it in. The goalkeeper has already sold himself. Why why have I left? Because once he cuts in with his left foot, once he does that little out out touch. You're like, why is your right leg all the way over here, bro? Because mm -hmm. your momentum is you're changing direction and putting all your weight back onto your, your left side. That means you're going to then go around him and then slow in. But for you to cut in and then your, your, your body weight goes out here, that don't make sense to me. The logic doesn't make sense. And you can clearly see he throws his leg into Noah's leg. And nearly, as I said, he nearly got himself injured, bro. Could have slide it underneath Noah. The way Noy ran out. Salah would have shot first time. Whether it would have went in or not, I don't know, bro. But yeah, whether it would have gone in or not, but he definitely shooting first time. He would have shot first time. Definitely shooting first. Because he's, he's just thinking, we know Salah. He's just thinking, bro, I'm scoring here. Like, I don't he's need to go down. around the goalkeeper. Yeah, mid wrap it. And, and, and that's what I'm saying, bro. Man's rap, like, experienced players in those kind of situations, they will be able to... I just think it's a different setup. But, look, listen, look. They drew 2-2. Two -two. It's not like it's a mad result. Savage, I think you said it there in the space about um, talking about like away goals and stuff like that. Like yeah. there is no away goal. So the reality is matter. it don't really Point matter. Me. Like you just yeah. two, 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 that's it. So we yeah. move on to, you know, the, the, the second leg. I mean, the the goal that Trossard scored, I mm. thought that was a good little play by Jesus. I did yes, like that. Play. He skipped in God knows how many players. And the thing is, the, and this is why I say Saka be watching the wrong people in certain situations. See the calmness in that situation where... Everything seems to slow down for Jesus in that moment. And then he's it's like he had the awareness. I don't think he knew unless <clears throat> unless Trossard's obviously giving him a call to say, yo, I'm here. But I feel like he just kind of played it into that area, hoping more than anything that someone was there to be able to then play. Good move, by the way. I'm not trying to be disingenuous yeah. to Jesus because he, he has got that in his locker. Yeah. But I also know I've been in similar situations. And sometimes when you're in the zone and you're in the moment, I'm not really hearing, bro. Remember, I'm trying to dribble past three players. I'm not hearing what you're doing over there. I don't care if you're in space. I'm just trying to figure out where there is space for me to maneuver into. But obviously, the space is there. More likely than not, there's going to be an Erdegaard there, or as we saw with a Trossa, someone's going to be there at the edge yeah. of the box to be able to finish it, or at least just be there to do something else. So, yeah, but it was a, it was a good goal. Um, we had uh, what's his name, Gnabry. Obviously, getting a goal yeah. at the I didn't think he would celebrate, but he did. Ultimately. Why not? Bro? I don't you know don't because like obviously, like he was the academy like and all of that. Like, you don't like you him. Know? they sold him, bro. They didn't think he was good enough. So and, look now, and look now, wasn't it Tony Pulis who was like, Yeah, 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 saying, yeah he didn't even look good. He must sit uh, there and think to himself, right, What did I do in training? Because I wasn't doing enough, clearly, with someone like yeah. a Gnabry, but. Here's what it is. Harry Kane, of course, getting his customary goal against Arsenal. That seems to be a thing, even though he's not even playing in England. He was always going to be on the score sheet. Um, good penalty, by the way. He said that he, um, at the end of the game, I heard the interview, he said about um, 
he been like watching videos of David Raya, like where he dives and when he's going to dive and things like that, because that wasn't a normal Harry Kane penalty. Yeah, Man no. hopped and skipped and done a... I was like, oh, okay, this is this is something different. But it was a good finish regardless. The Sane um, run prior to that, yeah. I don't know. Obviously, we've got Tariq in the back here. He's going to have to explain how four Arsenal players looked like they were just... I don't know. He Again, Tariq, big up your damn self. If you can explain yeah, to the up. people in the building... As to what happened with that goal, um, which Sorry, one is that? The in. the second one, the penalty. Yeah. The penalty, yeah, yeah, yeah. And big up Gadway yeah. again, guys. Tariq's channel is on my featured channel list, so make sure you head on over there as well and subscribe, please. Appreciate you. It it all initially started off with a, a Kivior mistake mm. to begin with. He got too tight. Um, Rio Ferdinand explained it really well. His body's upright. That's where we're at there. You need to keep it arm's length distance. That's what coaches will tell the player in there when you've got a nippy player who's quick. Get your arm in between the man and, the, and, and him so you can have that arm's length gap. Um, but Kivior got rolled. And then when, when you get rolled, you have to bring him down there. And he didn't bring him down. And then Sane made a good run in for that area there. Um, he waited the pass perfectly but even then there's an error from Declan Rice. Declan Rice anticipates and tries to go towards Goretzka who's going in the opposite direction and he instead he should just hold his position there centrally stay there don't try and go for the ball he tries to go for it because Arsenal turn over the ball in that situation and he he's pat he's like All right, I'm going to try and put this fire out no try and manage the situation Arteta said it perfectly don't let them run into spaces. That's the one thing he said after the game. He says, we let them run into open spaces and a lot of it was centrally. So from Kivior to Declan Rice and then followed by that, I think it's a little bit unfortunate with Jorginho. He gets a nick on the ball. That takes it away from Gabriel and then mm. Saliba reacts and makes the foul. Again, I would I would say Saliba shouldn't react there, but Sane was, about, was through on goal then anyway. And then maybe Ben White could have got a block, but... The mistakes were already happened by then. I think Kivior and Rice were the ones in that situation um, for the penalty. And yeah, um, for the and, and and then that's it. And then from there, Arsenal were in so much control up until that point, whilst the game was at 1 0. But it was the errors in that moment that let us down. We was on top. Bayern weren't really creating anything of note, but then once the game state changes, and we know in this competition, game state is so important because you're coming up against top quality opposition now. Bayern Munich are suited to going against the transition, and that was their game style. So, yeah, it was frustrating, and that's where I felt a lot of disappointment, and that's where a lot of my emotions were at towards the end of the game. Is like, what are we doing in those situations? It's a little bit more like, oh, last season Arsenal when we're making those errors, the errors that we made against Fulham in the beginning. Because, you know, Saliba and Gabriel have been fantastic this season. Immense. Almost ever free, especially Gabriel. Saliba, he's had, he's had a few. But with Gabriel, he's been immense. But yeah, in that moment there, against that type of quality, they'll punish you. No, no, no. Listen, man. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I think before the game, not you, of course, but mm. listening to Arsenal fans again, and it's, it ends, you said it in the space, like when we're talking to Rich, we got Rich, like it's the arrogance. It's almost like you, you'd think that you just came off a treble half the time. Like you just come <laughs> off a treble, you're, you're doing, you're about to do a four in four in five. Like, bro, sometimes you've literally just got to understand where you're at, like literally where you're at at this current moment in time. When you're around your boys, yeah, you can do all that kind of stuff. But when you're here on the big stage in front of all the big boys, <laughs> the guys of all the rollies and <laughs> you know what I mean yeah it's a different ball game now we're, we're not for we're not we're, we're not having the same conversations in that kind of sense so when you come up I, listen I'm not saying don't be confident of bro be confident you're top of the Premier League you're playing yeah. well you barely can see goals you score goals as well <clears throat> all of those factors come into play of course they do but the way the Arsenal fans I saw anyway online and it is only online the way they were rubbishing Bayern Munich like they were just ah they're however many points behind uh, Bayern Leverkusen. Oh, their team is dead. They lost 3-2 at the weekend. I know for a fact I saw, I'm not going to say who, but there was a good few content creators, uh, Arsenal fans, who were talking like, bro, we should brush these. Like, what, 3-0? 4-1? Yeah. I'm like, what? What, Bayern Munich? That's where it comes from. 
Mm. Man ain't watching the Bundesliga week in, week out, so they've seen the exactly. results and going where they've been knocked off the top spot. And the excitement confuses it consumes them a little bit, man. Like I get it, you should be excited back in the yeah, Champions cool. League, but the more level headed ones will be excited for the game and that you know what I mean you'll analyze the game properly or build ups and stuff. But the other ones it's just like the excitement consumes them to the point where because we're in this position, we're better than this team now. And I'm like, yeah, but you gotta whatever position you're in in the league or whatever competition you're in, you ain't won it. Mm, so exactly. and and you're right coming up speaking like you're coming off the back of like your Man City. Mm. Man City won a treble last season and they don't talk like that. Exactly. Exactly. So it's one of them man. It's, oh, it's, no, it's no. just it's it's just, it's just that kind of like level of respect. <sighs> All right, there's two situations in the game that happen. One for Bayern, one for Arsenal, of course. I'll go quickly because obviously we didn't get your take. Tariq, mm. you let us know. What do you think, bro? For me, personally, uh, for me personally, I think it is a penalty. And okay. a big reason, a big reason for it is momentum. That's what I think a lot of people are missing when it, when they're watching it slow down, is that Saka changes the direction of the ball in that situation there. And when I watch it from the first angle in specifically, you can see that Neuer's foot is in his pathway towards the ball. Saka... As you can see here, yes, he lifts his leg up to the, towards there, but he's using that to then next plant his foot so he can get and change the direction. Because with momentum, it's mass and velocity. Simple, simple science that you learn at, at high school. He, cha If he doesn't change the direction, then I can hear what people are saying. And when it looks slowed down, it does look like he does move his leg towards Neuer but it doesn't actually work out that way in full speed because things can be quite deceptive. It's like I, yeah. always, I, I liken it to the Elliot one. Elliot in, in slow down looks like he dives against wan yeah, yeah, it, does, yeah, it doesn't. True. It's not a dive. It's a penalty. It's not because wan -Bissaka goes there and he doesn't actually get contact, but he anticipates it and he can get it. He's good if, if he just keeps his leg down there. Similar, you know, he can like Saka can go down technically without contact because it's in his pathway. Similar to like how I'm saying Elliot, and that's what momentum will do. And if you anticipate, that's when you lose balance and you fall. But here, that's why it's a penalty. Neuer rushes out. He stick. He puts his foot in his pathway. So that's why it's a penalty for me. But again, I, we we'll probably be here until we're blue in the face. You know, people yeah. saying other things and that. We were for. My silver lining that I take from it, G, is that mm -hmm. we were fortunate to not be given a penalty against us anyway. Yeah, and that's and again, the game was two one down. And and that, that this is the bit that everybody was obviously talking about because, of course, Thomas Tuchel come out at the end of the game, and I can't remember which one of you, Enzo Savage, said it. Like, yeah, hey, Savage, mm -hmm. I think it was you, bro. He he sounded like, yeah, no, nah, he he sounded like he was just literally relaying exactly what the referee said. And you know, sometimes when someone speaks and they're lying, you can almost give like telltale signs like, bro, he looks all nervous. Why is he shaking? Why does he keep touching his ear? <laughs> you know, all of those kind of little, t bro, he just stood there and was like, yeah, no, nah. like the referee told me this, like th this is why it should have been a penalty. Like that's childish. He's just lying, bro. He should go to prison, bro, because he sounded convincing to me. Bro, <laughs> bro big man, take. he sounded convinced. He convinced me like, nah, you know what? That, that's a guaranteed penalty, you know? He doesn't sound like a reasonable lie to me. That's why there's a lot of things to say that the ref said. <laughs> When he could have just said something else. Yeah, Maybe. exactly. Exactly, exactly. So you think in this situation, Tariq, that you guys should have had this given as a penalty against Um, Yeah, it could, could yeah, I'd more say like it could have been and I would have no qualms and no complaints about it at all because it's mm -hmm. like the referee seen it and he's noticed that there's been a, a bit of confusion. He's blown his whistle for it to be played. Obviously, Gabri this is a tactic that Arsenal do and I'd like to actually quite understand why Arsenal do it. I don't mm. quite understand. We've done it in so many games. I've watched this for most of this season in watching all the 90 minutes. Raya passes it to Gabriel, who picks it up, puts it on the spot and then play um towards that that um the six yard line and then plays it. I don't quite know why we do it, and it's a massive risk because yeah. it's technically it is because the whistle's been blown. Do you get it? So it's like do you know if the referee blows his whistle for a free kick? But yeah. you pass it to someone else and they pick it up and, and they're to, for them to take it. The referee could easily go there and say, no, 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 no. That's a free kick to the opposition. Handball, move on. 
Sometimes we don't see it, but again, if it would have been given, I'd have no qualms, no complaints about it. So I think we're fortunate in that aspect that the referee is a bottle job. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Ends, man. Chat to me, bro. What did you think about this situation? You're on mute, by the way. Yeah, no, 100% penalty, man. If the referee blows his whistle, that means game gameplay resumes. Um, and to not give it and to give the excuse. And I don't think Tuchel's lying. Um, I just think they made an excuse. At the end, it was like, bro, like I'll, I'll just let that one go in it. It's not a big deal. It's not like you guys were in a scoring distance. Or mm. it was like, bro, you blew the whistle. We can go and press. A man decides to pick the ball up. So it is a penalty, bro. Like the game is on. That's like... That's like the referee blowing the whistle and then I go on two foot someone and you tell me that nah, I can't get carded because that, it doesn't make sense, bro. It, the game resumes, so that means you have to have to follow the rules. And the rules is, is that like a yellow card then? Or is it a red card? I don't know. That's what I want to know. It should, like, be deliberate. it should be deliberate humble. Yeah. So that, that's a... So that, but that's what I'm trying. I need to understand. I don't know if it is or it not. It would be a yellow according to the law because it would have. To, it'd only be a red if it was like denying of a goal scoring opportunity. Goal scoring opportunity yeah, yeah. Is that the same yeah, rules as right. in the Champions League though? Because I know they have. Yeah, some same rules because IFAB that make it. Oh, okay. IFAB. Cool, 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 yeah, cool, cool, cool. yeah. So yeah, okay. yellow card and and a penalty. That, and what's that? Two one to buy it. It would have been three one. Yeah, and been that's game tied done. Yeah. Yeah, the ref's gonna have to have some reprimand if what Tuchel say is true as well. Because all the from what I've seen, what you said, nah, but you can't be talking about oh, it's Champions League and it's a kid mistake and all that business. What's going on here, bro? Sam, it's it was bro. poor all night. I watched, yeah, watched the whole game. It was poor all night. Even some decisions in favor of us, like I thought Davis picking up a yellow card that early, like he stepped on mm. Saka. I, I mm. thought that was a soft decision. I mean, there's a lot of talk about what Harry Kane did. You know, with the dark arts. Oh yeah, with the elbow yeah, and yeah, that. Yeah. But he, oh, like, he's been doing again. stuff like this for years, and not Harry, getting... um, he's done it to Gabriel enough times. Yeah, it's sneaky. He, he does. Him and Gabriel always like to have a little. Yeah, you know. Hurricane used to do that thing, and it, if you jump up for the ball, it always lean into your mid air. Uh, yeah, that's dangerous, and, you know. That is proper it's so like, dangerous. Bro. Mid air, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought mid, he, mid he, the commentator said, "G um, during the game that this is his first ever like a, a quarter final. He's like thirty five, uh, the ref, and then that kind of went okay. Let me see how he performs here, and it was clear to see some of the decisions." Was, was shocking for both teams. I mean, like giving free kicks and then not giving free kicks for certain things. Like there was one where, he, and I'm saying this is for Bayern, where Saliba like roughs up um, Musiara a little bit and I thought it was a foul, but then he carried on and I'm like, what? You gave that earlier to the other way? Like you yeah. gave that earlier for Musiala when it was barely anything. So I didn't quite understand why you didn't give it then. Yeah, the occasion got to him a bit, man. Listen, you see these type of refs, man. Man need to give him like a group couple, like give him, you know, majority group games, give him like the round of 16, and then move up to this quarter final, you know, kind of mm. stuff. Like, It'd be interesting to see in. how he got there, isn't it? Like, what did he go through to get to that Champions League, bro? Like, where has he been mm. reffing in that? Because that's kind of crazy. To yeah, me. it's it's not quite clear. It's not quite clear, Sav, what, how they do this. And do you mm. remember, I remember, like, we've done let, uh, Let's Talk Football on uh, NZ channel. And I remember yeah. saying to you before, like, Referees don't don't think that the Premier League's got the worst refs. Trust me. Watching off European football and Montpellier versus PSG, and tell me about that penalty decision. If you saw that in the Premier League, yeah, you wouldn't be, be talking about. You'd be talking They're about every corrupt in the Prem. Yeah, it is horrendous in European football, but we should not be spoken about because it's obviously not our leagues. I think there's moments in the in the other leagues. I don't think it's consistent like it is in the Premier League, in my opinion. It, it, bro. Honestly, go. Check I don't watch every one. game, but I'm just talking about from like the best. Yeah, no one, no one can watch every game, can they? And see all the refereeing decisions. No, that, but that's, that's, that's the thing, bro. Like because we have access to every Premier League game, match of the day, you'll hear it being spoken about. You know, because our country's small, so we 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 get a lot of fans within the like. You'll be hearing Nottingham Forest fans talking about their game against Crystal Palace and whatnot. You don't hear about you know Lons versus Strasbourg. And the decisions that happen in there, but the decisions are horrendous. <laughs> they are the European football. I mean, just look at the PSG Newcastle game and the penalty that was given for that. Mm. Oh, yeah. And that's no, a high that's... caliber one, and that's in the Champions League. 
That's actually mad. Uh, big up, honestly. Big up everybody who is inside. Please make sure you are smashing the likes. We're going to talk about City in a moment. Uh, what, what you, City and Madrid in a moment. Madrid and City. We were at home. Uh, okay. Madrid. <laughs> and honestly, has a question for Tariq. Uh, why didn't Tomiyasu start? He is better defensively than Kirio. Right? Yeah, why didn't that I think that was an error on Arteta, I will be honest. Because I said before the game, like, whoa, big game for Kivio or this? Because Kivio didn't play the last two Premier League games. Zinchenko started both against Luton and Brighton. And I thought that Tomiyasu was, was getting arrested for this and was like solely building up his minutes. Because mm -hmm. Kivio is not a le natural left-back. He's our third-choice left-back in that area. Um, yeah, exactly. And he's, he's inexperienced at this level. Um Played for Spezia twelve months ago, and then and then eighteen months ago he was playing in, in Slovakian league. So that this is a massive from. occasion Jesus for him. And oh, whenever I've seen him one v one, I won't remember watching the Man City game. He was a he was an area re weakness for yeah. me, and I thought Bernardo Silva didn't test that enough down on that side. Gabriel Jesus supported him in that, of course, but he didn't have Gabriel Jesus to support him in this one here. A lot of open spaces, and I do think that was a slight error and. I think Arteta, you know, can kind of admit that himself by taking him off at half time. I think that yeah. showed. Bring Zinchenko. The reason we brought on Zinchenko is because the game state is different. He needs someone who's going to take more risks. Arsenal had problems with the central progression um, in in the first half when Bayern took the lead. So we needed someone to take a bit more risks, be a bit braver in possession. And yeah, Zinchenko was that. Um, but again, away from home, whilst it's two two. Yeah, I'm starting Tommy Asi at the Alliance next week. Guys, make sure you tune into Tariq Talks, man. He will tell you on his channel when he does, I'm assuming, his preview for the game. Uh, this one's from Honesty as well. Uh, he's asking, do you think the fans and players were too arrogant? Um, arrogant. Remember, Tuchel was very good in the Champions League, reached a final with PSG, won the Champions League with a mid-Chelsea team. Mm, I think, okay, fans, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fans, yeah, to a certain extent. And yeah, because like when, when you're saying three nils and that, like, come on, it, like, this this is the highest score. You also think the manager, though, because of like, we're talking about the Tommy, like, for example, Tommy Asu yeah. um, not starting, but then you're starting Kivio in this kind of game. I know Kivio has been in, you know, decent form this season, but maybe he potentially underestimated. I, I don't know. I'm just. Yeah, no, I hear that. Um, I, I I would say no because I think with Kivio because he has been in good form, he's trying to reward someone for being in good form. Um, yeah. you know, managers do that a lot. It, you, how many times will we think you know <coughs> Liverpool fans you you'll experience it that our oh, clock should play this for this big game, but he rewards mm -hmm. good form, and you're like, mm, maybe that's not the right time for this occasion, but it's sort of management that they they have to do. Pep Guardiola is not afraid to do it, so. I just think that, yeah, Arteta should have been a bit more brave and to do that and bring Tommy Asu in um, and for that situation. But I thought that the players, again, yeah, I think you can probably say to a certain extent there was a bit of arrogance in terms of the space yeah. that they left behind for Bayern Munich to attack. Like, you can't leave that space with this team. They're a German team under with under a German manager. What's yeah. German football known for? Transition. And you give these teams space and to attack. Harry Kane's passing ability, the speed of Sane and Nabry, yeah, and even Alfonso Davies on the counter to to create them overloads. It was dangerous. We don't we didn't do that against Liverpool. Apart when we we did it at Anfield, but that was with, through mistakes. That was yeah. with Zin, Zinchenko slipping on the corner. These were from like even though we're not even people forgetting the, the chance that Sane had. When it was just mm. one ball clipped over the top from Musiala and Sane is running through. Like, that's poor, that is. Like, that's poor structurally. Mm. So, yeah, the players, the occasion, I won't, I won't lie, man. The defenders especially, the, the occasion got to them. I thought Odegaard, Saka, brilliant. The occasion didn't get to them. They rose to it. But the whole defence and, and goalkeeper, the occasion kind of got to them a bit. Saliba looked nervous, like how he did against Porto in both games. Gabriel making that error. You can only equate you can only equate that to the occasion getting to him. Ben White, okay. Ben White was, I don't, yeah, I don't think he was actually that bad. Probably out of the defenders, probably the best, but could have done things as well to prevent the goals um, mm. that were scored, like Nabry's one where he could have just stepped up a little bit. So 
yeah, man. Nah, yeah, the, the occasion did get to him, I would say. Nah, I feel you, man. And listen, at, at the end of the day, you're facing Bayern and Champions League, man. So I'm not even going to... I was I was just about to say, oh, opportunity missed. But I wouldn't even see it too much because ultimately there's no away goal. So it's not like, oh, man, they're going exactly. back to their ground. Oh, there's two away goals. It's peak right now. We can't even concede. Like, bro, you can kind of still have similar game plan, so to speak. And just maybe, as you say, the players just, you know, just keep up that level of intensity that you've had, you know, throughout right. this whole season. You might be all right. You, you, you're probably interesting with me. It seemed like if the occasion got to them, it'll be interesting to see what happens at the early end with the bot, with the Bayern Munich fans and the flares and the noise and that, bro. Because that's their mm-hmm. fans. Isn't it? So that's, that should be interesting. I'm not saying they don't have it. And as I said in the space earlier, like yeah. it's all fun and games, everyone trolling Arsenal about it. But, but that's that's football. Like to gain experience, you have to go through the stuff first, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes you get to go through the thing in the heat of the battle and still come out the other side and, and win a game and stuff. And sometimes you don't and you get smoked or you, you lose a game and you're like, you know what, proud of the boys. But next time we have to learn this. And mm-hmm. Arteta himself has to learn it as well because he hasn't gone through it. There's a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? So he might start overthinking little things and that. Pep, Pep was doing that at Man City. You know what I mean? He's always been yeah. fine in the league because he's got 38 games to do it. But in the Champions League, we've seen Pep do dumb stuff, bro. Like, what's throwing yeah. away games when he could have won the Champions League? could have won the Champions League like three times. <laughs> literally. Yeah. Literally. So literally. It happens in that, man. Arteta knows what he's doing in that. Now. Tariq's right yeah. with the rewarding, whatever, and that. But that's where he's going to have to learn, and it? Fuck a reward, bro. It's Champions League. Play your best yeah. players on it. Simple, like just don't mess around with it, because because mm-hmm. three is right, but Klopp won't. It ain't rewarding us in no big games. The man, if mm-hmm. if the man are playing, it's because they've been playing better. That's it, or they're just better. But it should be fine. As I said, two legs, no away goal, which means both games ended up just being a pointless. Bro, it was just a good spectacle for fans to watch. It didn't. None of the games mean anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's actually true. We move on to. Savages team versus <laughs> Manchester City during free free at home. Mm. Um, this was a very, bro. The amount of ballers that were on the pitch, it, it was actually mad. It was actually mad. But from both sides, both sides, yeah. and it looked and, it looked, and, and I will say this about Madrid. It always looks better because it's like Madrid, and you can see like they've got the Camavingas, you know, the Rodrigos, the Viniciuses, like yeah. these hot ballers. On the pitch, and of course, Manchester City have got their Phil Foden's, the Harlands, and you know, people of that kind of ilk. So, talk us through the game, man. Talk us through the game, man. How did you kind of see it? I mean, you see how quick the first goal came in the game two minutes and well, it's a minute and something. Um, the rush tackle from Shermany right at the start of the game for no reason, Mm. by the way. Mm. I mean, talk about being hyped up and that. Um, smart, very smart from Bernardo with the free kick. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Lunin got his hand to it, but not into the into the net. Can't even get mad at that, bro. Like, he was smart. Um, you can blame your keeper and stuff, bro. But man ain't doing that constantly, so. Um, and then after that, bro, I thought, like, Man City was just going to go into the ascendancy and do what they do, when it? Because obviously you don't ever expect Man City to try sit back or anything like that. But yeah. they, they really they really didn't. It just felt like only Bernardo was trying to play football, don't they? And they took yeah. the foot off the gas. And, yeah, it didn't take long. A few counter-attacks, bro, from we're back in the game, 14 minutes in, Rodrigo. Um, I think he went down. Yeah, no, Diaz actually twelve on the twelfth minute ish went down yeah. to own goal. Just can't bring him just decided to pick up the ball and go for it because why not? Why not? Um, yeah. Deflection got the goal, and then two minutes later, Rodrigo straight back, straight, straight back on it, bro. Um, they should have done better, Man City, on that break because it was two against one. Um, but bad defending, and they were luckily for them. Half time came for them, and it because the, they were getting caught on the transition every time. It was yeah. quite. For the first like ten minutes, just before the goal winner, I was like, "Ah, oh, the spaces between the players are too much on the on the Madrid side, and it there's like big gaps between like Bellingham and and Vinicius over there." And I'm like, "Nah, I don't like this, bro." Because Man City is just doing what they want, and that's the only time for me up until towards the end of the game that Rodri looked good. He actually wasn't that good yesterday. Um, he was getting picked mm. off in the middle of the park. He was making silly passes and stuff like that. Um, but obviously, half time came and yeah. I don't know what Pep said to them, but probably said to them, prop stop trying to score perfect goals and shoot. Yeah, for real. Because for real. that's what happened, bro. And Foden's, I mean, Foden's goal, if you watch it, he the, the shot he took, he did it like a minute before. The, the exact yeah. same shot in the same position. Yeah. 
And you see how Rudiger's on the floor there? He blocked the first one. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> Rudiger's a bit of a nutter, isn't it? Like, I love him in these games. But he would he would put his body in front of the goal. This one, he just didn't get to. It's a great goal, though. It's a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Broden's full of confidence. He was actually terrible up until that point as well. He didn't yeah, I remember. Him, like, even Pep said it, bro. You're right. <laughs> yeah, he was doing he was doing nothing in the game. Like I said to my son, "Is that Foden over there?" He's like, "Yeah." So I didn't I didn't know he was playing, bro. I didn't do anything. And we were keeping certain players quiet. The bigger players, Rodri wasn't good. Foden wasn't good. Holland, he had one shot, which was like one of them slipper foot shots. Did nothing else throughout the game. He just got bullied by... Bro, by Harlan Rudy. and Rudiger. Rudiger always wins, bro. Always. Yeah, yeah. He just, he just bullied, bullied him all game, threw him on the floor and that. Really? And we kept catching him in transition, whether it was Bellingham or Cruz or Kamavinga. Tackle, vinny has gone. And we just we just threw away chances, bro. Like, you know what it's like, bro, when, when Vinny and that's in front of goal, bro. Every now and again, man just get too excited and want to do the samba team. <laughs> yeah. And he said, <laughs> for real. Playing man thinks he's playing futsal sometimes. I'm like, brother. Yeah, and um, it weren't it weren't the best game for Bellingham either, bro. And I, and I think yeah. I, I'm not joking. I think he's he he was playing like a downer gear. He's on a yellow card, and it there's three of them, yeah. and three of them would have missed the next game if they they got the yellow card. Sure, many got his straight away, and I think it was Camavinga. And, no, is it Rodrigo and Bellingham? I think I think it's them two. Um, and Bellingham was playing like he was on the yellow card already. Like he's he's playing like yeah, I'm not trying he to miss the next game. Like... If he gets cancelled out after, if you win. The next game, he gets cancelled out for the following yeah. one. So he can just go into oh, the next one yeah. and do what he wants. Get a yellow, yeah. carry on the game and stuff. So he wasn't the best. He was all right in midfield with transition and that. But yeah, a few flicks here and there. But at the end of the day, bro, I think the it's the right result. I thought we played better than them, but played with a lot of arrogance in it. And obviously, you know, that's the Madrid way, bro. Of course, think better than everyone. Like, that's just how, the, that's how it's always been. They'll never do anything else. And I think you mentioned it earlier about them being calm. Yeah, yeah. Playing, yeah, playing the second gear the whole game, man. And when even Man City scored, it was like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, we'll go and try and score another one then. Yeah, that's the exact attitude I felt like they had. They're like, okay, well, looks like we, we got so, like they, they just it's like, maybe it's just Ancelotti and the way even he the, what, the way the way they the way he volleyed the ball and the way Vinny crossed the ball, everything looks nonchalant. <laughs> same cap. Oh, yeah, cap. Like, I was same. Same, I just same. Okay, He's in the middle of, of speaking. I've well, I mean, never heard him when he's talking about another club that we I love. don't normally get the space to talk about Madrid, on it? Like, when we're actually... Sorry, sorry. Him. You're right. Apologies for interrupting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it was all like, when we decide to do it, we'll just do it. So yeah. we did. Because even when... Because with the way the camera angles, when Vinny crossed, I was like, what is he doing, bro? There's no one over there. Nah, then, he saw him. Then, I think he yeah, saw him. Then he was. And listen, man, it's always going to be the way. You can get knocked out playing like that, um, or you can go through. It's always with arrogance, bro. Always, it's never gonna change. You're not getting no pragmatic, no sitting back, nothing, bro. <laughs> like, no, nothing at all. If you're winning, then there's, there's five minutes to go. Just play the same. Midrange. No, I, I That's think it was what's so mad was that, bro. Like we we even forget, but, but Vardio's goal as well. I was like, oh, what? Man, right foot that what into goal, he hit that so like and if you like you guys are I'm assuming anyway I know Enz is gonna say both feet but I'm sure you have a predominant foot that you shoot with which is your right foot both you you <laughs> will tell me the technique that he even had on the shot it didn't even look like that was the right technique when I saw it like I could tell he was left footed basically yeah. off of that like shot. A swing that so good that I assume that he took a deflection. Yeah, I thought, he, I thought he hit Tony Cruz's foot, and then when I watched him, I was like, Whoa, bro, that's a mad ooh. technique! And the way he's dipped in that, like, it's low to the floor already, but he yep. dips. Hey, man, you know what I mean? Young beard face and that, bro. He's, 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 like, he's, he's, out, man. he's had some stinky games, bro. Do, so, and uh, Enzo, I'll throw this at you. So, do you, you think we, Savage just said it there, and that's what I wanted to ask about Bardio. Obviously. Signed for however much millions, you know, quite mm. a lot of money in the summer. Everyone talking about him. Liverpool fans, you know, we, we wanted him, you know, thinking that he could be the next kind of guy in our team. This season, how do you think he's kind of performed in a general sense? Like, I've seen people say flop. I've seen people say, OK. I've seen people say, you know, yeah, it's one of those ones. He doesn't play that much because of how Pep rotates and stuff. How have you kind of seen his first season here? I don't know. Is that Does that stem from... Just, just before I give you my take, does that stem from City fans or is that 
Just rival friends. Let's be real. Or I'll be real. It's oh, not so gonna say, I knew he was going to say that. It's like, <laughs> it, 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 I don't know any bro. Like, was... <laughs> <laughs> Only City fans that man will know is when I see them pop up on my on my Twitter every <laughs> now and again. But in, in terms of take out City fans, every other mm. fan base, of course, the way that they look at it. But your nah, opinion. For me, no, for me, I've, I've, I've always been fine, bro. Um, big money moves, still a young player. We know as defenders, bro, and the, the, the old saying is, bro, you don't get into your peak till about 26, 27. Mm. And that's when you start like, oh, I've had enough games in the bag now. I, I've had reps in terms of certain situations where I'm like, okay, next time I need to do this. Next time I can do that better. He hasn't played a lot of games, to be fair to him. Uh, at the top, top, top level. On a I don't think he'll ever be great. I think, think so. will. I think he will. Yes, well, I'm I'm always, I've always yeah. thought he's been overrated. Always. It's it's but the thing is with him, he's not an actual left back. He's a he's yeah. a back three type player, and he's a, and then he can play in the back two. Yeah, and and he's being used as a left back most of the time, which he has to adapt to it. A centre back moving out there, and, and and I know we've all played football. Even though it's a couple of yards to your left hand side, it makes a massive difference. For you feel like you're in an ocean. You're like, what's going on? Where do I need to be? What spaces mm-hmm. do I need to you know go? So he's learning, and then you go to one of the best managers in the world when it comes to like tactical, you know, setups in games. So he's like, you you yeah. need to be switched on. So you're learning a new position, and you're playing for a manager that you just need to be make sure you're in certain zones at this time. It's long, bro. He's what he's 20? Up and down, isn't he? He's up and yeah, down, but because if you watched him, in, if anyone watched the Palace game, he sucked. Bro. Yeah, he yeah, absolutely he sucked. Took him off. Yeah. And, you play against a better t- in that game. You're thinking the whole time. Obviously, I'm a Liverpool fan, and Tariq, you, are you? yeah, okay. Well, well. <laughs> That's a bit rude, than that, but all right. sorry, sorry, sorry. That's fine. I mean, it's never come into question before, but um, and obviously, Tariq supports Arsenal, so part of race on it. So, you're watching them games with a bit more intensity, like, yeah, come on, mm. Palace, and Palace were really good in the first half, just couldn't finish, like, finish yeah. his trap. And yeah, bro, he was trash, bro. If they could finish, it would have been a lot of it would have been his fault, bro. Could have took him off. Yeah, you know I mean, like mm-hmm. what, what Man City do lack is pace, bro, at the back. And this is why I think that like being nonchalant and all like arrogant and that's fun and games because there's no walker in it. Mm-hmm. So take advantage of it, bro. Because I'm not saying it because of the Madrid game. I've been saying it. When I said to everyone that Man City's team's not the same, I don't know why everyone takes that as us. I'm saying Man City is shit. No, they're still better than everyone. They're just not. They're just not as good. Not as good yeah. The levels a bit more balanced now. So look at them. Look at their def- their defense is slow as shit, bro. Bro, it's slow. slower than everyone's defense, bro. Diaz is slow. Stones can't run any. Stones runs like he's pregnant, bro. I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> he's had he's had quite a few injuries though, and he's have what? Bro, he thinks so much, you know, Sam. I can't even. Laugh. Bro, man said he runs like he's pregnant. They tried to do like our oh, stone playing defense yesterday, and they said, "Now nah, you've got to put him back in midfield, bro. I can't stop working. Put him back in midfield, and that's why Kanji always has to come on the pitch, bro. You always they always bring him on. Yeah, it's slow, bro. Without him and Ake, Kanji is relatively quick, to be fair as well. Like, Kanji is quick. Um, yeah, Ake really is quick, but he's quick. Yeah, he's pretty quick as well. Um, the rest of them are slow. You got to take advantage, and that's why um. When I, I think I said in the space earlier, it's not a disrespectful thing, but every team, whether you call it a weakness or not, it's just weaker than all the other good attributes you've got. Man City is, mm. you, bro, just play against, try and play against them in it. Whether it's on the counter attack or anything yeah, like that, try it. And sure. you've got a chance. Palace tried it, scored a goal, and Wolves tried it, won the game. Like you can do it, bro. That's what I said. It's worked out for Arsenal now because obviously Liverpool drew against Manu. But when I was watching asking him, like, this is the season. I think you can take them still. The way they've been playing them, you can take them. Um, and that's what happens. You, the one thing we should all know by now, you don't take advantage against City, come back to bite you, bro. So the second game at the Etihad could be, we could get smoked. Or yeah. it could go the other way that, and be the same same kind of game. Mm. Just on the so, Vardio yeah. thing, just quickly as well, I just wanted to say, because yeah. ends is right. Like He's young and I think he's playing at left back for his development. Because playing yeah. at left back against wingers will give you that one v one element where you'll learn yeah. in in a pep system with a back four. When you're playing at centre back, you have to cover wide spaces a lot if you want to do if you because he's got the athleticism to do it. Unlike Diaz, 
um, mm. to be able to play as a centre back and cover the left side if you want to invert with your left back, let's say, or have a bombing on forward left back. So I think it will prove pivotal for him in the long term. But yeah, it is it's going to be interesting that second leg, Sav, because I wanted to ask you this: like, do you see Real Madrid setting up um, a little bit more pragmatic no. to, and and then to hit him on the counter attack? Because I think again, you can cause you've got the quality to cause City problems. In, um, in doing that. Well, you could kind of say yesterday the whole tactic was just let City have the ball, we'll just pick the ball off in midfield and then transition because they're slow. That, that's mm. literally what it was. And it worked every single time, but the finish wasn't there. It's only when Man City started scoring a few goals and then there's like, oh, let's everyone just go gun ho and let's let's go toe to toe in it, which is fun for the neutral or if you want whichever team to lose and stuff like that. But I'm watching it like, fucking hell, bro. But Man City's not doing their normal. Tiki Taka passing to score a goal. They're just roasting these goals from the outside of the box. Um, and it felt like they had 10 men because because obviously Har- Harlan did nothing. He done, he done nothing at all, bro. Um, and obviously De Bruyne got sick before the game started, didn't it? So um, I actually think De Bruyne playing would have made it worse for them. So You think that? Yeah, yeah, I think it would have made Even it though he had a good performance against them last season? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think he would, I think he would have. He, because it, now it's a pick and choose in between when De Bruyne... Has that kind of performance? Of course, he's cold, but you see what man decided against Palace. I've had enough of this shit. And he's just done De Bruyne stuff in it. Um, mm. oh, but he ain't gonna get the time on the ball he wants because the tactic will be. That's why Rodri didn't look that good because the first ten minutes, I said to my son, "If you want to learn football, just watch what he's doing, man. The way he's just making space for himself." And then that man said, "Nah, they're not doing it." And then for the rest of the game, Cruz just stayed on him. <laughs> he just he just stuck to him, so he couldn't do anything. And then I like that because it's like, ah, oh, everyone waits Cruz. And that's old school, isn't it? And you got Roger. I'm like, this is a good battle still, considering Cruz's legs ain't there anymore like that. Yeah, he was. He was fine. And then brought Modric on. So, yeah, Tariq's right. It's going to be an exciting game, man. Um, are, you, are, you, are you listening to yourself? Like, are you, are you listening to yourself? Like, you have a team that says, yeah, Cruz, play, play Cruz, and then, psh, yeah, just brought Modric on. That's mad, it's, mad, it's madness, bro. I just brought Modric. Like, really like, like, oh, I just brought one of the, the best midfielders in the world in our generation. I just brought him on. Yeah, just no, nothing, nothing special. I'll tell you one thing I didn't like though, I, and it didn't. I don't say it affected us too much just because Harlem wasn't that good, but the fact that he that he started shooting many at centre back, I, I, mm. I'm not with it, bro. Nacho's when, on the bench, bro. Like, just play him, man. <clears throat> But don't you feel having maybe someone like a true mini who's obviously comfortable on the ball in and out well, of position, so. position, hindsight though, hindsight, hindsight. Well, my hindsight was before kickoff, so I... <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, do you know what guys, read, Sav? I thought you put him there so he didn't get the yellow card, you know. I thought that's the reason he got why. in the first minute. Thank yeah, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he's not in the midfield doing the whole screening thing where you're going to make this yeah, late yeah, challenge. Yeah. Your job is just to clear it. Look ahead, is here on the ball, pass it. Um, That's crazy, bro. But I can't lie, bro. I haven't talked too much of that because I might sleep with the fishes. But Don Carlo this season, yeah, even though the top of the table has been, bro, it does, it's, I don't know what's going on, but he keeps doing strange things, bro. Like every every couple of games, he just does something random. You know what I mean? So all our, long as listen, as long as uh, Hustle don't come on the pitch until like ten <laughs> minutes left in the next game, we're good, man. Cause he winds me up, bro. Hey, but he, he was scoring a couple. Oh, he he scored a couple me, of you goals. But if you don't understand, bro, he winds okay. me up. Bro. This geezer misses so many chances, bro. He's just one of those guys that's just happy to be there, man. Yeah, man. But your guy will be there. He's a really and Baps and that. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I can't wait. And Baps and Hendrick and that. Yeah, it's, it'll be fun still. And this is what I'm saying, bro. Like I'm yeah. hearing man talk about bringing on Modric, having Cruz playing. You still got Bellingham. You got Vinicius up top. Like it's starting to give me a bit of a headache, bro. Like trying to keep up with the amount of superstars that you guys actually have there in the team. Tariq, I wanted to ask you before we obviously move on and big up guys again in the building, make sure you're smashing the like button. I wanted to ask you, obviously, obviously looking more towards the Arsenal um result, but for both Arsenal and City heading into their next games, I know City have got Luton, so it might not even really matter too much. But with mm. Arsenal having Aston Villa. Do you think this game may have an impact, so to speak, in terms of the result in itself to, for your next game against Villa? And obviously, I, I don't know how many games you've got more until you face them again, um, Bayern Munich again. Yeah. Um, do you know, oh, I would have said that, right? But I've seen how we reacted against Newcastle 
um, from when we got that one 0 defeat at Porto, I'll change my mind. I don't think I think that will will be benefiting from this, and the fact that it's at home will be will, will be a good good way for us to kind of react um, to that and try and prove ourselves again, build some momentum. Also, Villa play on Thursday, so I think it will have a bigger effect on them because they've got a big European game for themselves, where it's going to take a lot out of them emotionally. You're at, you're at home against Villa. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're at yeah, home. Yeah, massive, yeah, massive, have massive no plus. Massive uh, plus. Yeah. What was that, Sav? I said that's a massive plus. You lot being at home against Villa. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and no Douglas Luis as well because he's suspended. <clears throat> by the way, oh, he's suspended. Uh, Shake. So. <laughs> They've got that massive game they've got on Thursday will be a, th- their attention, especially someone who had Unai Emery as their manager. He loves mm-hmm. Europe. He will sacrifice the league for Europe. He'll sacrifice Champions League to get a European trophy. Um, so, yeah, it will be. Um, I think it will be a, a benefit for us that they're playing tomorrow and that, yeah, we, we are at home. We get to react um, in front of our home fans and try and get the win. So... Yeah, no excuses, man. We should grab a win, and and I'm not gonna lie, like I think it could be a few goals because Villa away from home haven't been that good. They Have play they... harder than against Brentford, boy. Long yeah. day. And against That's Man City. Cool, yeah, you know, I mean, they were good against Man City for for the first part of the game, and then uh, yeah, mm. Zaniolo's pissing me off on that game. Bro. Even against West Ham, yeah. like their their away form hasn't been that good. Aston Villa's at no, home, they're a lot better. Oh. Yeah, they're home form. Uh, yeah, they lost four one to to City. Yeah, they drew three three with Brentford prior to yeah, but the that. Brentford game. They were winning, but they just dashed it away. It is actually yeah, no, that's yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was two one to Manchester United at home. Jeez, I forgot about that. I went the shopping one time and I came back and my son was just creasing, bro. I said, "What are you laughing at?" I said, "Look at the score." <laughs> <laughs> when when did this happen, bro? Crazy, bro. Yeah. Crazy, that's man. The bigger one, G, I'd I'd say next weekend. Um, So the Wolves won. No matter what happens, if Arsenal go go out or go through, like that's going to take a lot of out of us Mm. physically um, at the Allianz. And then we've got to go away to Wolves. Also, it's yeah, it's Villa, Villa, Bayern, Wolves. That's the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the yeah. away one to Wolves, I think. Okay, but that one might be, it's going to be trickier because it's away from home. After Imagine the Midlands team leg. just mash up your whole Prem, bro. <laughs> so I know exactly. The I, team you know, especially be, you know, from being from the West Midlands, Sav, you know, you know what it's like <laughs> if they do anything. Yeah, you don't want to hear it. Saturday, seven thirty kickoff as well. Mm, them evening games, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I always think it's like a, when it's a weird time. I always think, yeah, because something spooky is going to happen. So <laughs> <clears throat> let's hope, let's hope for your own sake that you win. But for our sake, I hope you lose five 0 Of course, you need some goal <laughs> difference to be clawed back in that time. So obviously, that's the UCL last night. There, there's game the yeah, PSG Barcelona and Dortmund Atletico. Dortmund, Atletico. Sorry, is, just felt, sorry, sorry. No, no, it's fine. Uh, no, Atletico no, Dortmund. Um, yeah, don't think just, Dortmund, bro. Dortmund, bro. Bro, I don't like how you keep saying the, the, the team's names like this, bro. What's wrong with you, bro? They're not my teams, so I don't care about these bro, teams. You, so. do, you, you do know it's his channel, so he can say what he wants. Why are you speaking for him? He can say what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you are dumb. You're actually dumb. Now, Dortmund, just... Dortmund Atletico is going to be full of shit house, oh. bro. I was just about to ask you in uh, for, and I ask everybody here in those yeah. in those two games. What do we think the score, or not even the score? Forget the score. Who do you think is going to win, or do you think it's going to be a draw in both of the games? So, Atletico Dortmund, first and second leg, or just this leg tonight? Just this leg, just this leg, just just for tonight. Yeah. Who's at home first? I can't even remember. Is it Atletico at home? Uh, yeah. At- Atleti, yeah. yeah. That's why we had Real Madrid, Man City, because they didn't want to yeah. get the two Madrid clubs playing at home at the same time. Uh, I think sense. the first. I think it's gonna be nil nil. Nil nil. Mm-hmm. You think Dortmund will be able to hold up a flat go like that? Bro, No, I'm not. This, I'm not saying this respectfully. I'm asking genuine question. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready yeah, for another no, wee man? Then you say we genuinely answering as well. Say that again. I'm genuinely answering. I'm answering as well, bro. Like I, I think it'll be nil nil, bro. Taking back to the yellow wall and that and the smoke. Two one to to Atletico. Two and a flip. Of course, of course. Yeah. And just goes against anything I say, bro. Don't wanna... No, but I like Dortmund as well, bro. No, I don't want to stand in no brotherhood in that, bro. You I Barcelona like fan, bro. Fuck Atletico, bro. 
No, nah, but I'm just being realistic, isn't it? I think they'll beat them 2-1. 2-0. 2-0 Atletico. Oh, piss off all of them. Yeah. I you know, and, and that's for you two Catalonians up there, bro. Stink anyway. You're not even Spanish, bro. Get out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, them, man, yeah. them Catalonians only Spanish when it suits them, you know. Everything yeah. is... I can't actually, I shouldn't even say that because that's what the Scousers do as well. But you get what I'm saying, bro. All of a sudden, it's Effie. I'm, I'm Catalonian in that Spain squad. That's why, that's why we're say, synonymous like... with Barcelona because we have that Scouse, not English kind of blood in... Yeah, but we don't... Hey, hey, Amanda, we... Amanda, listen to this, bro. We don't, we don't really mean it, bro. Amanda don't mean it. That's Trent, bro. Trent, Trent's been twerking to get an England squad for time, bro. We don't care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Nah. Well, we saw Henderson singing the bloody... Hey, well, two faced not scouts, so I'll give him a yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunderland born, bro. You know what I mean? Working class true. background, and um, who is it? Brandon was the coal mine. Sorry, kid, kid, sorry, kid, sorry. <laughs> the coal mine. Uh, I don't know who's at home, PSG or Barca, but who do you think would win in that game tonight, or do you think it even matters whoever's at home? Two, two. Xavi ball, two two. PSG's two. at home. I think PSG. They, do. One team's got a better team, and it, and one team's got Mbappe, bro. So that's. You stop man running in straight lines, should win. 2 2. That's what it's going to be, bro. 2, two, two. 1 PSG. We need Lewandowski to find his shooting boots again, bro. Oh, my God. Man, getting so much chances, bro. And it's, it's... I don't it's even fun. know. It's like his power. He come like um, that man in Space Jam, bro. Like, it's as if like your powers just. They've just been yeah, taken, bro. and now remember, remember, to... the, remember that happened to Bobby, bro. And all of a sudden he played like he was wearing Crocs all the time, bro. Mm. <laughs> It should be interesting, bro. It should be an interesting game. I think it will be Kunde and it who's gonna have to do with Mbappe. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's long day still. I don't know. That's Could the one. Be, that's the one competition, bro. Like he seems to love the Champions League. He loves the Champions League. His team do not because they're not yeah, as good enough. Not, bro, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he like I, I can see him scoring. I can easily mm. see him scoring. But whoever him, I think he can win, Mbappe, Ramos, and Dembele up top of it. You see with and you see with Dembele, yeah. <laughs> I feel like with him now, I wouldn't be surprised seeing him at like some any club anymore because I'm just like, how many chances does someone need to give? Yeah, you yeah, like if you box about Fulham, it's all good, isn't it? Like, he, he, I, I'll be real, and obviously maybe not as low as that, but I wouldn't even be surprised. That will be their marquee signing. Right, mm. what Fulham got Dembele? Maybe Fulham get, even though they are rich, but maybe they get a bit more money pumped into their club to use on transfers, and they get yeah. someone like him because. He's just been washed, and I mean washed for time. Like I hate, I'm not I hate even... players with that much talent, bro. And you just know, yeah, like, hamstring's man. never gonna hamstring, bro. Bro, it's not, it's like, not stringing, it's, bro. It isn't, and, and and that's the annoying thing about someone like Dembele because when he was at Dortmund, brother, he was come up like, bro, remember from, move from Dortmund to Barcelona. Look how much money they they spent just to get him in. That's mm. how good they thought he was. And then has it? Can anyone here say he's fulfilled that? If he goes throughout yeah. his whole career. Not re- like keeping at this kind of same level, bro. He'll just go down as one of those streets remember guys, and you don't want to be in that kind of list. Them Ben Arthur's, Adel Tarap type of people, like you don't want that list, bro. Trust me, ballers, but you don't want that list. But let's move on to the last bit. And guys, pick up everybody who is inside both on Twitter and on YouTube. Lucho, 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 Lucho. Saw news yesterday, and I've seen quite a bit of news. Uh, Anfield Talk broke it. Well, they didn't break it, but they spoke up, spoke on it yesterday. Luis Diaz could leave Liverpool for PSG after talks with the players. Agent. Now, yeah, well, I'm not well, saying well, that well, that's true. Well, I love the fact that you changed your um, your picture. I didn't change anything. Um, Liverpool okay, fair, okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'll go to you first, Enz. Yeah, go on. Obviously, hearing that, we've heard. Listen, let's not let's not pretend like we haven't heard little bits of news. Whether it's true or not is another thing. But we've yeah. heard little bits about Luis Diaz. Um, for, in fact, ever since his father got kidnapped, I feel like we the news kind of wrapped up more. Like when he came back, which I find coincidentally weird, but fair enough. That is what it is. How do you kind of see this kind of panning out for the summer? And would you? And you need to give a yes or no. No political answers. Would you sell Diaz this summer? Uh no. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. There's a player there, man, and we're seeing we're seeing him getting back to his best now. Why would I wanna I wanna sell him? Um he's got what is he, twenty seven? 
Uh, yes. 26. Yeah. yeah, I feel I, I want to see what he can do under the new the new manager as well. Because he's one of the ones I think is at the padlock shackles on. So I want to see what he can do with a new system, um, with a new um way of playing, man. I just want to see it. Mm. Selling him for what 75 million. I think that's what everyone's um aiming towards. I'm like, yeah, you can get the money and do, but then who who do you want to bring in for one? And can we get someone better than him? Probably can get someone that can probably score you goals, but do what he does and the work rate that he puts in in games. I don't know if he can. I honestly don't know who's out there that you can spend. And I know all the other guys that I would want, Liao, he's going to be costing like nearly 200 million or 150 million. They ain't going to be selling him for no cheap. But now nah, I'll keep him, man. Savage? That's my guy, man. So I'll keep him. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be under a different manager as well. So it'll be interesting to see how the person would use him. Um, mm-hmm. I slightly agree with Ben, but I do think there's a lot of excuses for him as well because mm-hmm. he gets a lot of freedom. So when he chooses not to take on his player and what everyone was excited about, that's nothing to do with Klopp. It's just nothing to do with him, brother. No one told you to turn back every time you get the ball in it. So that's just true. Is it? You know it is as well because it's not like when he does decide to do it, obviously seeing Klopp on the, t- on the touchline screaming at him. He shouldn't be doing that. He's not, bro. When I ask him after the game, how was his game? And that oh, it was great. And when he done this, so maybe that's him. Bro. But you're right. The since um his, his dad came back and that a lot of talk. Maybe all is some playing from a different team's on the bucket list and that. Bro. I don't know, blood. But um, <laughs> I, I I I love him. I do. I, I, yeah, he has my guy, man. But it's a lot of money. I'll say that it's a lot of money. I mean, I don't know. The market's changing, so seven five probably <laughs> become the new fifty. But yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and I'd have to think about what Enzo said when he said, who could you get? Because even though he's my guy, bro, I probably could think of somebody else. That's what I feel. I feel like if you sat down, you could probably find well, five in particular, because it's the left wing. I think the left wing has got the most talent on it in the world, probably, compared to... But the what right. if we don't play? So, obviously, we'll talk more on it this afternoon. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what, we're talking about, obviously, under the new... Like, we can't do anything yeah. now. I mean, under the new manager, yeah, like, yeah. We don't, he doesn't play with a left winger, so to speak. So, where yes, would he absolutely. even fit in this system? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he can do the creative stuff, though, can't he? Yeah, yeah. The, but that, a bit restrictive, then, isn't it? You're restricting what he's actually good at, which is he likes running into space. He likes dribbling with the ball in space. He can't really do that in the in the attacking midfield position. It does better when he comes more centrally, though. He comes centrally, so I always feel like it's different playing the game from out to in than already starting in. Do you get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like, you're already starting your position there. Where do you mm-hmm. go from here? I'm not saying he can't do it, by the way. Just, I feel like that would be different as a... I know what like, you mean. It's like, it's like on replaying centre forward compared to playing on the left and cutting inside. Them, it? Exactly yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly that. Um, exactly. Yeah, before you nut jobs, I wasn't comparing Diaz to Henri, by the way. Mm. I'm just talking. Um, and it's, it's the same with uh, Grealish, too. Grealish plays better yeah. from left going in than in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's because, the, 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 obviously, if we're going to get Ruben, it's going to be a creative inside forward. Yeah. Can you do that role? I know there's other players in the team that can do it. Sobo, you know, Harvey, Curtis. But is it really from Matt inside forward, though? And... It, that's the role it is, isn't it? The, the guy that I can't remember the <laughs> name, but he's a, he's a creator. He's not a winger. He, exactly. He's a, yeah, so what I'm saying is you could probably put him there and see if he can do it. Mm. And, and we're, we're saying it, I'm saying it from a standpoint as if he's going to come and play exactly the same way. Probably tweaks it slightly. Obviously, the formation might say the same, but maybe the personnel, he might tweak it. He might not go a creative inside forward. He might change it slightly to someone different. He may, he may opt to do it for the other side and then use the left side as the as the winger and then the right side as the more inside forward creator. In, in that so you finger spot, um, Con Calvers, that left side. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's going to be interesting, but to I, be fair, I when I said like, three, you know, it might, it might play better. We have to just wait and see, bro. Like I feel like because he can when he when he's on it, he beats his players easily, bro, and he, he plays those neat one twos, and sometimes they just don't give it back to him. And you're right, sometimes it's down to him when he doesn't do. Yeah. You're like, bro, just take the guy, and he doesn't do it. But I'm just looking at his contribution to the team. And I'm like, ah, man, I can't knock him. I've seen worse players in the team and worse performances. Uh, yeah, 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 it's the thing. It's the goals. It's the goals that people are looking at. And that's what we say, bro. It's, it's, 
and Liverpool's it's going to change again, and it the squad. So you know you go off what you already know. It's coming off the back of we know the, the that three before. We don't have to talk about it again. So they compare them to that all the time, and um, I remember I made that statement the other day, and he, he scored a few goals since. I said, go to Arsenal and go to Man City, maybe Villa, Tottenham, and compare them to them people and in them positions, but don't do the people who used to play for Liverpool. Yeah. Because those people that used to play for Man City as well. And you know what I mean? They're not comparing him to that. So for this is Diaz is well, who, who is it, Man City, Doku, Grealish, the man in it. Yeah. Probably yeah. got more out probably got more output, probably. I'm not saying he has, but he probably got more output on that. Oh he does. You um, did work it out though at the time you worked it out. Didn't didn't he was he not comparable in terms of yeah, he had yeah, the three, yeah, yeah. if not more? Yeah, it might have changed since. But... I think it was. I think it was more. And obviously, Arsenal. I know from the, definitely last season, it was their goals were shared damn near evenly between the two wingers and then the person in the middle. Um, why? Well, well, two wingers and Odegaard last season. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and now obviously Trossard <clears> tripped <throat> way more goals now and stuff like that. But when you balance it up, bro, it's like on the stats, which I'm, I'm not always. A fa- that's not my thing, mainly, and it's so it's weird because people will talk about. The way they see him playing football, but then talk about, but then it's the the goals. What are the problem? I'm like, which one is it? Like, I don't know, but yeah, I said at that time, man, there's still parts of the season left to go, and he was already on a certain amount of whatever GA or everyone talks about. So I'm like, well, he's probably going to end pretty good if he's on this at the moment, and there's still however many games left. Mm. But then Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is as well, Sam? I look at our team, man. I'm like, if we just said don't drop, run back and stay up there like we do with Mo. Probably gets more goals as well because he's just he's one of the players on the break or he's the one of the first ones we give the ball to. Bro, I think if the I think if the front three just you know what I mean had a bit of composure, which I'm not mm. saying they never had it, so they can get it, bro. You know what I mean? If they had a bit of composure, they probably all have an extra five goals, bro, or extra five GA if you want to say that. Hundred percent. You got to please the masses, bro. It's got to be GA, not just goals. GA, because, because the person who's always because every time we watch a Liverpool game, the person who's always got the ball and chooses not to pass it to the person who can tap it in. Well, that's an assist for you, and that's a goal for him, and that's every game, bro. Twice a game at least, bro. And that's not made up, by the way. Like I'm not, I don't just say these things, bro. I probably can go back through the games and pick out the different times, bro. Or just go to me and then call and show, bro. You'll see it after every game. Why did he not pass the ball? And it's all of them, by the way. So I'm not picking anyone. Yeah, oh, Salah, yeah. why did you pass the ball to Diaz? Diaz, why did you pass the ball to Salah? Nunes, why did you pass the ball there? Gap for why is he's... It's every single time, bro. This is every single time. Crazy. So even like, you know, in the game against Man United, when Sobo picked up the ball from the edge of our box, ran the whole length of the pitch, played it into Mo, Mo to Diaz, Diaz to, to, to Darwin. Nunes. Darwin sets it back. It's a tap-in for, tap for Sobo. That's a great goal, by the way, if you score I it. promise you the narrative changes on the player in the game. Yeah, and that's what I don't like, G. One of the things I don't like it's yeah. if the player can play well and don't score, or you in your mind he hasn't done nothing if he hasn't scored. But when he's done the exact same thing but scores, it, all of a sudden it goes left. It goes, oh no, he was so good today. He was really, really good. I'm like, he was good in the other game. He just didn't score. Because the only caveat to that really shit, is a thing, you know, the only person who really should get away with that is if you play with a number nine who just stands yeah. up there. That's the only just person who can like a or hard, yeah, you can do nothing all game, score <clears> when you win the game. And they're like, Yeah, we literally got him just to do that. So we done it. But you're right, everyone else is like we can watch him have a good game, and if they come off and they didn't score, then that's it. Didn't do anything. Tariq, I wanted to ask you, obviously being an Arsenal fan, um I know you know your football and you see the stuff that kind of goes around. When you're looking at someone like Diaz, how, well, first of all, how highly, if you do, do you rate Diaz? And do you think, in your opinion, one, it would be a bad move if he did leave Liverpool for Liverpool? And two, would you take him at Arsenal? First, in terms of how I rate him, I do I rate him highly. Um, I do think he's one of the best left-wingers in the league. And when you look at him, on his day, when he he had that again after the injury he got against us last season, it took him a while to get back to this mm-hmm. kind of level that we've seen him recently. But when he's on his day, he can be unplayable in terms of that type of winger, and that's what you—that's what a team you need. That's what I look at with our wingers. If Martinelli's on his day, he can be like that. With Man City, they have Doku 
Um, and, you know, as, as Sav says, look, look at the com- comparing to the others in the league. And he does have ability to score goals. He does have the ability to create. So I do th- really rate him as a player. Um, given his... But with me, like, even when I talk about Arsenal, I don't think there's that many players that are unsellable. And yeah. if the right money came in, I think you could replace him and get someone of a high level as well in there. Um, again, it's more of a risk. So it's way not rather, do you want to take the risk of the reward? Um, the bigger the risk, of course, the bigger reward. Again, you got likes of, you know, I don't know how much he'd cost, but a Rafael Leal out there who would, who I think would have an unbelievable ceiling. And if he came to the Premier League, he'd, he'd give you everything that Diaz would and more. Um, so yeah, it, it, for me, because of his age, it depends on what you want to do. And I think if you guys were to sell him, because you're 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 reasonable Liverpool fans, and the fact that you'd be like, okay, I can understand that, I can take it. But if you keep him, it's a win-win situation, really, for you guys. Um, if you keep him, you've got a great, a good player in your hands who has. I know it's, it's it sounds crazy to say this, but still has the potential to score many goals, many more goals for Liverpool. And people will say, you know, if you speak to speak to people, like rival fans, oh, potential, you're treating Diaz like he's a young kid, all of those. No, no, because we haven't quite seen it yet. But that's, again, you can put con- context around it. The in- he started like a house on fire in his yeah. half of the season at Liverpool. And after that, it was just, wow, it was crazy. You know that style of player, what Diaz is? Um, what was that? No, that style of player is not the complete style, but you know what I mean? Like um, Diaz, Martinelli, Doku, mm. not Saka as such, but the ones who are doing more like techie style stuff on the pitch to try and get pa- to try and get past the man and, and Sam Maximum had it and stuff like that. Them man yeah. are going to suffer when it comes to the GA thing. Bro. Yeah. yeah. They're seen, they're seen, Martin had a great season last season, but they're seen straight away as not having no end product in it. Mm. Some, sometimes it's not like a direct assist. So it might be a, the, the cut in to do something, the pass it somewhere, that person pass it, they score. Nobody cares about that, obviously. And that's what they, they suffer from. But football's kind of changing, bro. And I think, I think just the level in general, what's out there, I don't think it's that great. It's good. It's really good, but I don't think it's... Can, can, we, can you guys quickly check... Is Mo def, is he on like 22 goals this season so far? Like, cut all oh. the, yeah, yeah. Can we just okay. double check that? Because if... If Mo's on that and, and, and say Diaz, where's he on? 13, 14 goals. Yeah. And you'd say he probably gets less of the chances. Yeah, because Mo's on 16, 17 prem goals, isn't it? It's yeah, I'm just talking about, yeah, just overall. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, overall. Um, uh, but I'll tell you one thing. If we uh if you get 100 mil for Diaz and use 25 of it on stem cell treatment for Neto, then... Mo's <laughs> <laughs> well, got 23 goals this season. And then how much does Lucho have goals? Uh, Lucho, I want to say. Luis Diaz. I want to say someone just said 13, to be fair, in the chat. Because I know he's had, he's had a couple goals he scored recently, he? so. Yeah. Let's see, Kravis got 10 league goals. Man, just for, yeah. everyone's give up on Craver after last season. Jesus Christ! But he's got thirteen. So, so twenty three and and thirteen. So, so 10, 10, 10 goal difference. It's about right. And he, right. Get, and he gets less of it. That, that that's yeah, exactly. Then, bro, seriously, that's... see this. What I said the other day. That it's bro. about right, bro. Like when you look at what you would expect the man them to be on, it's about right. That's why I said. When the argument, man will try and you throw the stats at you just to win the argument, and it. But you're actually better just telling me about what you saw because I can yeah. probably agree with you more than because I saw him do silly things on the pitch. But the the output's there. It's just how much you want to downgrade it, and it. It's like, gee, you know, if if you're speaking about Salah, someone's you're probably best off talking about the way you're actually seeing him play because if you throw stats at me, I'm gonna be like, yeah, is that the killing it? Yeah, yeah, of course. yeah. So, and that's the that's the thing. Same with Gapo. It doesn't really work out when you try and throw stats because it's not it's not that bad. Yeah, so yeah. Watch, bro, when, when the same play, <laughs> ex- exactly, bro. But when you watch him play, there is performance to be like, nah, you, you weren't it today, bro. Mm. So. 
I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Bro, he doesn't stop running, bro. Yeah. It's, it's listen, man. It's a tricky one with that one in terms of well, not tricky as in I would sell him, but mm. tricky in finding another player to play in that position. The yeah. only thing I'm thinking about is if the new manager ends is right, the new manager might come in, tweak it. If he tweaks it, then cool. To be fair, we know he's going to play probably 90% similar because he's played that same formation, same style, at obviously his two previous clubs. So I'm assuming he's going to do the same thing here and we can only go off of that assumption. I'm just like, I don't see where Diaz fits into that. Like, I don't, there's no natural position for me where Diaz comes in and I'm like, oh, it, it could happen though. He could go left wing back for all I know. And then all of a sudden he's the guy bombing up and down and he doesn't have to worry too much defensively and he's got energy, intensity. He just needs to worry about getting himself forward and can he get back? I don't know. He might be able to play where Enz is saying in that kind of left attacking mid position. No idea. But when I think just on the face of it, I almost look at him and think, you could sell him and just get the player that you know can play in that position or use one of the players you currently do have, Harvey Elliott, Curtis Jones. People are asking, where do they play in this system? There you go. A left attack in midfield. Curtis Jones, that's you right there. Comfortable in that position. Seeing him in that position. You can easily go there. Why, like, I, I don't see a problem why he couldn't go there. Zabozalai, you could go in that position. Harvey Elliott, maybe if you put someone to the left, Harvey Elliott goes to the right attack in midfield. you still got Endo and, and um, McAllister in the in the two centre midfield positions. That's where I'm looking and thinking, okay, I don't see Diaz though. <laughs> like I'm hearing a lot of, yeah, this guy goes here, that guy goes there. I don't see Diaz. That's why I would think to sell him and then you can either buy someone who can fit that role perfectly or, bro, we've got the two gunmen behind you, behind Savage right now in the photo. Those two can easily play in that in those positions and I think they would be a better fit in those positions. I take the money, bro. Honestly, I'll take the money because we're not, we might not be looking at, oh, can he play left wing anymore? That was under if Klopp was still here. Then I would say, okay, now let's really look at Leal. Leal can't play left attacking midfield. No way. That guy's not doing that position for, for nothing. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say Cavaradona, whatever you want to call it. Like, he's not doing them positions. Them lot like to play wide because they want to go from wide to in. They don't want to start in and have to start going out and trying to find space on this side. These men just want to play their part football their, out. Yeah, it's part of their attribute. Isn't it? Doing exactly. That. It's what yeah. makes them the, the player that we see all the time. Yeah. Liao, we see this brother constantly when he's on form and he's on job. I see that guy bombing up down that left wing, like bombing, skipping past players like they're not even there. Cuts in, bang, finishes it. And it's always a dope, like crazy finish. Cavaradona not good at dribbling on that side. And he's got a burst of he's got a burst of pace about him, which then gets him on that side. I mean, yes, this is the guy that I would, if you could go and sign him, <clears throat> everyone I think in the world of football would go out and sign a summer like a Muziala. I, 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 I think when the, I think when the big boys, the big teams go and get one of those players in the summer, it happens every now and again. And obviously yeah. Mbappe is almost definitely going to Madrid. Man City, yeah. I can see him throwing out a young Paquetta or something like that out of nowhere. I swear they've agreed terms with him, but just not West Ham yet. Probably, probably. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Arsenal, Arsenal's always a hard one because I can't ever tell what they're after in it. You know what I mean? Yeah. They go from Mad Life Vlavic to this guy to that guy, but they'll probably do it as well. Um, Chelsea will find some way to cheat the system and do it. Man, you probably do the same thing. And then Liverpool, I'm like, hmm, we don't need much. In fact, we don't need anything, but the stuff I would like and it would help. And Musiala, bro, is him. <laughs> literally, bro. Like, why? He's literally one of the best young players. In fact, he's just one of the best players out there if you get his age. Of course you want to sign Musiala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Wait, the way you see it with the young players and that is like, oh, you've got Foden. That's not fair already. All right, so if you got him. And then you like got, like, you got Gavi and Pedri. Okay, but they got one hamstring between them. So that's one person. Yeah, literally, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then Ram just got everyone, so that's not, you know, what I mean, nah, man, it has to be have to share it around properly, isn't it? and by I me, mean, it will just get somebody else anyway. Yeah, they're definitely gonna get like just if they raid sell, Dortmund, they'll just raid Dortmund for whoever they want. So, yeah, who's the left wing back at Dortmund? Um, who's that Schlotterbeck or be honest, they could get Verts, mm, Florian. Get Vert. Okay, who would you say? Right, I'll ask you all here, yeah, and this is for everybody. If you could only get one, Verts or Musiala? No, we're in the Verts. I'm picking Musiala. Oh, yeah. 
Missy Ola. Need that magician, bro. I don't even trust Vertis' legs, bro. Bro, I don't, I don't, fine, I think fine. Dope, yeah. fine. Yeah. Do you know when you're talking about them composure calm donnies that make the right decisions? No, you know why oh, I say Muziala yeah. though? Muziala is extremely versatile. And Vert is not versatile that like that anyway. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Back in mid, left like, wing, he can play center mid, DM, he's played every striker. Yeah, like um, Musiala can play whatever in it, and I think if you put words there, but there's no point of moving him because he's that talented. There's no need yeah, yeah. to take yeah. him out of that position because he's killing it, bro. I the think, calmness yeah, of him, bro. The, I think if Verts comes to the Premier and holds one tackle from Tarkovsky, bro, he would never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> so bro. Musiala with his dancing legs. Now nah, I just feel like Verts ain't built like that, bro. Nah, he's built. He's built for this, bro. Nah, bro. If he came to me as a personal trainer, I'd tell him, nah, bro. Send him built for else, this. Bro. It's a bit weak. I think. Weak, blood. It's I think I've, like seven days, this, blood. Crazy this is a, literally, literally, and I, I feel like if I had to guess, I would be like, I feel Muziala will be able to adapt to the Premier League a lot quicker than a Verts. I feel like Verts will be obviously right club. If he goes to Manchester City, then it might not even matter. We started his trade in England, and put put this put this guy in one of them teams. You'll find out real quick. I'm not off the yeah. I'm, of no. I just think Musiala, that, that brother. Yeah. I see, I see yeah. work by Munich. Musiala. Yeah. That's what I see. Musiala to Bayern Munich. Is a, yeah. Musiala to the Prem. Okay. Well, All right. But to Bayern Munich. Do you think Jabby Alonso is going to let that happen? I feel like he might no, be no, like, no, oh, no, I don't think Jabby Alonso can do anything. Do you yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he won't do anything about it. Yeah, you'll do nothing. <laughs> I think one season. <laughs> Champions League to the, you know, what I mean, you, you want to have a go. And if, I think they'll believe in um, Alonso at least for one season because they'll always, yeah, have, yeah. they'll always have ambition that like it's by Leverkusen. If, if I don't have any connection to the club apart from playing for them, I want to move on. But I think they'll definitely give him one season because they all seem behind the project, isn't it? And it'd be great for them, man, if they win win the league and go and do great in the Champions League or win it or drop down to the Europa League and win it. They might win it this season as well. I doubt mm-hmm. it because Liverpool's going to win it. So it's a good shout for them, man. No. Ballers though, mutual adverts, ballers, man. Nah, man, they're, they're, they're all ballers, man. And listen, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Um, big up everybody who is inside. Uh, there was a couple Follow of questions. Follow Inacio, blood. Another Before. overrated baller, bro. Well, all of a sudden now, no one's talking about Inacio coming in to be He's the... overrated, bro. He's overrated, bro. He didn't even I think he's been injured, bro. that's why. This he's not season. overrated. Yeah, he has been. Even when he wasn't injured, man, they want to play him, bro. He wasn't over it, un- overrated. It's not overrated. I like Inacio, man. No, nah, yeah, I, I think we, we overrated. Why are we why are we knocking these young defenders, bro? Like, nah, bro, you man, bro. I overrated. I'm fed up with the snobbery, bro. Like Pinnock, bro. Brentford, Baller, Yard, man. Nothing, wrong, like, with, nothing bro. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nah, because man, them don't throw out them names ever, bro. It's always these exotic ones. Okay, but are you going to throw out Pinnock when you're looking at players to sign? Yes or no? Pinnock, blood. You know them way there. Zanker and them, man. You get me? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. So we're moving, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, then they start calling. Is that a bad season? Start calling him Jorgensen all of a sudden, bro. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man went from Zanka to Matthias. Said my son went to who the fuck is Matthias Jorgensen? I said I don't know. I know Zanka, bro. Then I found out. I said, oh, what's going on here, blood? <laughs> what happens, bro? You get your name that changed Bain now. Billion's got to Philly, Penny. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah. Bro, oh shit. And Billy was got... one of the main Donnies, bro, and all of them just got him on the bench. Just chilling nobody, bro, nobody could have caught that. Nobody could have. I just thought, like, oh, yeah, the odd game, they're going to rest him. I said, so he, Billy was literally your best player last season, bro. He's just sitting on the bench. I said, nah, mm-hmm. hold that. Sometimes, and, and, but, okay, cool. So Don't we look at that. Exactly, that yeah, yeah, exactly. System. So a man like come... him, bro. You have to, this whole you say, a man like Salah after the whole bench, and that's crazy. Okay, so hey. I don't understand why we went straight to Salah when there's hey, Billing and other we players. Billing, players Billing, Bournemouth's hey. best player, Salah Liverpool's best player, whole bench. That's what. Hey. That's okay, Tariq, I'm not even answering that. Tariq, <laughs> question: Why didn't you guys attack Eric Dyer's side because Dyer is cold. dead food? Because he's cold. Respect oh, Dyer. Eric Dyer. Yeah, respect him. Yeah, I'm definitely I think we only look. We looked one-dimensional yesterday, man. I thought it was just only down the right. We looked most dangerous. The left did not connect at all, man, um, until Jesus really came on. Then, then it looked like there was a little bit more, but even then, nah, man. Like 
I did, I did again. It goes back to Kivio offered us nothing in possession going forward. Martin and he isolated a lot. Yeah, so nah, yeah, I, I, it was a problem for us. And um, Arteta spoke about it. We didn't attack the right spaces enough, and he'll make slight tweaks for the second leg. But yeah, it was that's I think as well. What I'll say as well, honesty, is game state matters. If Arsenal hold one nil a uh, lot longer into the second half and, and Bayern are the ones who are having to knock on knock on the door, leave a little bit more space, Dyer and um delict. Yeah. That's why I think the second leg first goal is massive, mm. huge. And how you obviously because I think we'll be a little bit more pragmatic. I don't see us making those types of mistakes away from home. Because I have a guess, guys, a lot of the mistakes that we've made this season, even in this year. Out of five goals we conceded, I think four of them have been at home. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, 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 you yeah, conceded yeah. five goals in t- of 2024, four of them, no, six now, five of them have been at home. That's kind of mad. Coincidentally, a little bit more. Of... You, you, you know, you're a little bit more open. Yeah, it, you're play for me in the next leg, bro. Play Kim, man. Don't try and he, he don't well, rate him. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't rate him. He doesn't rate him. He doesn't rate him at Upper Makano. Yeah, but then you're going to rate... Uh, you know what? Again, I feel like with, with someone like Tuchel, these are one of the problems why you're going to have beef inside your with your team because you're doing you're making dumb like decisions. Like, why isn't Kim playing? Unless he's been stinking it up when he has played. And I've not watched a game, and I haven't watched many of Bayern, where he stunk it up, where I'm like, yo, this brother's kind of shit. You know? Tuchel just wants basic man, you know. Yeah, not even in the but... dickhead. I don't even mean it in a bad way, but there's a couple managers like, like that, like... Yeah, solid. Follow instructions. Work hard. That's what I want from you, bro. I don't want anything different, bro. I don't even want to see you play or try and play no through ball pass out from the back. Just do as a <laughs> you know, like run the game. Man. Just defend. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Just defend. Uh, last question before we, of course, head out. Savage, what do you say we do a little trade? No, you and Salah, no. we get no. Rodrigo and also Morton, Thiago, and Carvalho plus. 75 million for Valverde. Nope, nope. We've got a billion pound buyout clause, bro. So, giving yeah. all of those players for Valverde, relax. Yeah, bro, man. Speak, like, honestly, are you saying give all of these men? That's a lot of man, you know. Yeah, so, bro. Like, he's good, man, but he's just really quick, man. Yeah, he says like, Salah as well. Salah with that. Yeah, you no, Val- listen, Val- Valverde. No, but good, he says man. Rodrigo and Valverde. I'll trade Salah for Rodrigo. Yeah, and then Morton Thiago and then... Carvalho plus 75 mil for Valverde. No. Oh, okay, no. okay. No, in fact, it's actually a rip off the money, doesn't even add up, bro. But well, is worth, worth way more than that, bro. Man, then we got billion pound buyout clauses, bro. Laos, isn't it, man? That's yeah, all the Spanish man, them have some crazy yeah, yeah, buyout yeah, clauses. Yeah, yeah. Salah's. I actually couldn't think off the top of my head where Salah could play. I think PSG. I was just thinking about the bigger teams. So, yeah, that's Salah's all the not... Where would he go around Europe? Like, Salah's actually... not going to fulfill Salah. But uh, if you wanted to play there, just for the. If you're buying as well. Buy him. buy him, but they can't afford him. I don't think. Mm, probably <laughs> depending on how much we're looking to sell him for. You think you could run Italy back? Or no? Nah? Yeah. But who from Italy's got money to even spend? No one. No, you know these not. Man. They, never, they never have money, bro. They'll so find money. a way. No, yeah, they're... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll go bankrupt just to sign it. Like it's all long, bro. Like it's actually all long. I'm trying to think. You know, you know what? That's like I've never sat down and thought. Oh yeah, he would go to. Only PSG is the only one I can think of. Maybe. No, it's just yeah, PSG. Right. I promise you, you, put him up for sale and you find out real quick how many teams will be after him. Just say, no, no, no. Bro, Mo Salah hands in a transfer request. I will see, bro. But transfer request with how long left on his contract? Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying in general, bro. If, 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 if the, no, world no, knows no, the reason why I said that is because it would it would determine if someone's going to put money for him or not, if he's only got a year left and he hands in a transfer They'll say, uh, bro, listen... If you hand one in today, Paris, a PSG tomorrow, bro, straight away. Yeah. Not, they ain't <laughs> yeah, of course. No, no, of course. Honestly, he's asking, do you think, yeah, Salah can go to PSG as their new main guy after? Yeah, that's no, probably no. the only... That would probably be the better move to still stay in Champions League football and, you know, stay of that kind of level because and I be can't... The, he'll be the guy, bro. Yeah. And he yeah, will actually I'm, be the main guy. Yeah, now. Yeah. Like, there's no disputing. There's no Van Dyke or Scouser in the team who's more important. I think the lifestyle. Know. I think the lifestyle as well. I know, like, mm-hmm. I'm not this and like, I think probably the Wesley of Cheshire, probably the way all the men live. But yeah, yeah, Paris and that, and um, France itself, highly Muslim population, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. It is. Comfy times. They're moving true. a bit mad, though, recently. They're moving a bit mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's true. But, but, yeah. yeah. Now, you know how to make exceptions for, for yeah. man that we can ball, innit? As long as, you know, the, the tap, tap down to him, as long as you score goals for us, bro, we'll, we'll let you up. Yeah. We'll pray with you if you... Yeah. <laughs> we'll pray with you if you score goals in that move. <laughs> that's... Yo, wow. are you listening to yourself? Wow. <laughs> um, you think I'm joking, bro? Trust me, bro. Dance for gold and that. The Eid, the Eid banners come out half time and that. Everyone's doing up dances and that. You know what I mean? A young prayer five times a day in training. As soon as you stop scoring goals, one this Muslim guy, man, I did enough of this shit. Get out of my country. Yeah, okay. they wanted on Mbappe well, out as well, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, the way they keep sobbing up on Mbappe is killing me, bro. That shit's so funny, bro. <laughs> this is the disclaimer before anybody comes on who's just passing through and was like oh i just thought i'd quickly pass through and smash a like i heard something quite quite disturbing but you know yeah, apologies man i know you religious people are crazy bro so yeah <laughs> crazy yeah. guys just throw that back up throw it back up g just leave it, it there, yeah bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's so crazy. crazy. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I don't know what he's going to say next. That's the matter. Yeah, just bad. leave it there. Leave it there, bro. Just leave it. <laughs> Guys. I'm not trying to diss, man. I didn't even say anything bad. Don't put hexes on me with your imaginary people you believe in. Like, I'm sorry, man. Leave Gee. it there. Leave Gee, it Make there. it a banner, yeah. Every time Savage speaks, just pull it up. Just <laughs> disclaimer before you listen. You know what? Anything. I'm actually going to make one. I'm actually just going to... Any... Next time I have Savage on... This... In fact, I've got him this afternoon. I'm going to leave Savage it by name. Savage by the way, man. Nature. He's more rock than that, bro. You know them way there. My home is whole tight, man. You, man. Yo. It's Eden, blood. Leave it. Eden Mubarak. Big up, today, everybody. Bro. Who has tuned in? Oh, so now you want to say Tariq? You didn't want to. You didn't. You didn't want to do that before. As soon as I said, nah, now you want to say happy to everyone and that. Because uh, who's the real guy who's supporting man? Me. Left. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Old tight deal as well, man. He dropped me off. Called you crazy, but... <laughs> <Come on. clears throat> guys, we're done. Stream is finished. Ends. Have you got anything later today? This evening. Enzi, we've been mad Hollywood lately, but I don't want to do nothing. Yeah, bro. That's what I asked Enzi last night. Oh, are you doing a stream tomorrow? Nah, man. I might do the preview at 12.30, but... I was like, bro, I thought... Yeah, you know what I mean? I was kind of yeah, shocked. Enzi, I was let's talk football, man. The blue ticket allows you to just do what you want. Bro. Nah, do you know what it is, T? I was, I was trying to plan it, but because G said he was going to talk about some of the games today, yeah. I was like... And, and obviously heard that all the man was going to do, and I was like, yeah, might as well leave that for this week. We could run it, run it back next week, bro. Sure. That's a whole right, week man. away, bro. No, but the, all the games, games are the past, isn't games, it, bro? Right, no, but it's Champions League in Europa, bro. There's no, you know what I mean? We already spoke about Arsenal and that. What's Tariq going to do? Repeat himself. <laughs> Make no like sense, doing that a lot. <laughs> yeah, so... Not to you, man. Not to you, man. To, to randoms. <laughs> but I feel like next week now, after all the games are played, Premier League and that, we can, you know what I mean? Let's talk football, bro. We'll get the man them together and we'll, we'll chop it up, man. Other games and Tariq doesn't have to... Repeat himself. Sav won't have to give us the monologue again about Real Madrid because no one cares. And then, you know what I mean? We can just. He cares. He asked me, bro. I didn't just start talking. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Next week, man, we get it. We get it going. But now, nah, today. Yeah, bro, have, you, Tariq, you and Tariq, man, have a word with your leaders, bro. Because they're letting the <laughs> team down. Nah, nah. You know who I'm talking about, you base. No one knows who you're talking about. The same color as Krispy Kreme and donut people and that, bro. You waffles and that. <laughs> you, Drake, See. Tariq, and whoa, 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 J. Whoa, Cole. What did, Drake, whoa, what did Drake do to deserve the criticism in the first place? Like, hey, man. Hey, man. Even my son's in that group, bro. Light skin man, them. Have a word of your saviors, bro. Because J. Cole's not leading the gang right now, bro. Yeah, hey, listen, that's, that, like, listen, that beef is between J. Cole and yeah, his Yeah, bro. Let J. Cole deal with that. Drake didn't do nothing. He didn't say, leave Drake J. Cole out. went on stage. And said to all light skin man them around the world, bruv. I'm letting the world know we're soft, bruv. And I'm just saying, bruv, you not have to come back. You man, I got 24 hours to respond, bruv. In some way, send out a tweet. So we need, I don't know, blood. You can't <laughs> allow this to happen. So, so I'm meant to, I'm meant to listen to these imaginary people that, imaginary just sings, the real, bruv. that just sings and wind up themselves on stage. I'm meant to listen to them guys. Yeah. Safe, man. Leave me you alone. You man ain't had a good year in like in the calendar year, bro. You had Drake with hair clips and nail varnish on, bro. J. Cole's apologizing for shit, bro. It's long for you, man, bro. That's, nah, that's one you, man, well. guy, man. I know you guys rock with these tunes and that. Mbappe bro. with the, the, you know, his trans girl and that. So the, it's not a good, it's not a good. No, hey, throw it back up, G. Throw the thing back up, bro. What are we doing? 
<laughs> I told you, man. You gotta be come on, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was trying to get it up. You know, I'm clicking fast and the thing's not even coming up. I was like, bro, what is yeah. even going on? Yeah, sorry. I'm just saying, okay, I'll leave it, man. But for you and Tariq, Tariq's all right, it's covering his face, you know, bro. You know what I mean? Covering my face. Like but, a bad um, bee, is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, and do you have any words on your savior or not, bro? Like, I don't. I, there's no say. Do you want to denounce him? Denounce him from your playlist. There's bro. no. There's no savior, bro. Denounce bro. him from Spotify, bro. There's no savior. If I went through, if I went through your playlist, um, Savage. Yeah, you're telling me I wouldn't find no. Like, you know what? Exactly what no, but the reason why I brought it up is because I was doing shoulder press and his song come on and I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped away. <laughs> he dropped away. Because I, I was, I was vibing to it. And all I heard is R.I.P. Uncle Phil. I was like, No, not today, not today, bro. It's not the right week, bro. Because I saw, I saw G's tweet the other day before he apologized, didn't it? And, yeah, and he said it. something about the beat. He's like, Oh, I knew as soon as the beat dropped, J Cole was gonna kill this or something like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, He's right. I was like, oh, yeah, this is cool. Then he apologized to now. Yeah, I, I, listen, I don't understand the whole thinking behind it because in my mind, I'm just like, well, well why did you do the tune in the first place if you was only going to just... Like, you you kind of already knew. Remember, that tune would have been done probably yes. a little bit only the, only the girl didn't agree with him. I heard Bro, the all these fake... He apologized. I heard the girls in the... Oh, All these fake... Fake beef, bro. I ain't got time for that nonsense. Bro. And that's what I think as well. I almost feel like it, this is because Kendrick. Remember, Kendrick already said in the interview, "What's his name?" About yeah, I still yeah. I, I respect these guys. I'm like, so are these guys beefing? Because then I think Jake was better than him as well. So that's pissed me off. Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, facts. And and Kendrick's come out and said previously, "Ah, oh, yeah, no." Nah. When the people have questioned, has there been subliminals? No, no, no. We're all good. We're all fine. But what I, I mean is, like, it's not fake. It, okay, it's not fake beef because it's hip hop, isn't it? That like, this is what you're not supposed to be doing. I know they're not going to yeah. kill it. The Drake ain't going to kill someone. Come on. But mm. <laughs> but yeah. so no, every now and again, Drake puts on the one leather glove just to show, like, yo, I'm about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't you're know not, why he's doing that. You're not, bro. But yeah, I mean, so I'm the same, yeah. man. I just want them man to, you know, hip hop thing and that, bro. We grew up with the, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's disgusting. Talk about you being better, like sport, isn't it? In terms, yeah. Of Tariq, have a word with your man, them man, isn't it? Hey, come on, man. Hey. I think Drake should just come out with a cold hip hop album now, bro, just to settle this, bro. I think that's what yeah. Drake's doing. You know, he knows yeah. the next one he drops, whatever he drops, single album, whatever. It's gonna be listen. He'll, dro he'll drop a single, man. He, he's oh, like, he'll man. Drop a single I'm, I'm getting disappointed with you, light like, skin people, man. Like Chris Brown songs are shit now. Beyonce songs are shit now. Like, I don't know, man. Get some more sun in it. I've had enough. <laughs> some of us get too much. Hey, now I'm just saying some people do. Some people live below the equator, so they get a lot more sunshine. <laughs> Again, sounds a bit racist, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's just <laughs> it's facts, and... isn't it? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Have a word with your saviors, isn't it? It's not. Have your little team meeting, your little Freemason lights give me and that, and put it all between you, bro. Uh, she... Definitely leaving, guys. I'm gonna head out. Um, Savage ends. Tariq, what have we got coming up over the next couple of days? Ooh. Now, calling, calling after that? the game on Thursday. Oh, okay. Are you doing well, what I, I was going to do the preview, but is there any point? What do you mean? It's a Liverpool game, man. You don't care? <laughs> I, don't know about this, I don't know about this guy, man. He's changing, bro. <laughs> it's not feeling it anymore. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'd rather bring good content instead of shit content, bro. Mm. Since it's become the Space King and that, bro, all of a sudden don't want to do no YouTube content. I understand. Bro, you know? <laughs> <laughs> not even, bro. No, not even. No, but it's like, what are we going to do? Repeat ourselves again. All right. Well, I've got stuff in mind, bro, but you know what I mean? Tariq, what you got popping? Premier League preview show everyone. on Friday, and then on Sunday, I've got an Arsenal show for all the uh, Arsenal fans that are here, the many that are in here. I know there's not many, but there is some. <laughs> there's a couple. <laughs> if you want to tune in. But yeah, it, Premier League preview Sunday. I mean, Friday, sorry. Arsenal show Sunday. Cool, cool. Sav? Uh, I don't know. The, just yeah, check yeah, it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hit the notification <laughs> bell on Savage's channel. Hey, you, you asked Sav something, you didn't put it up. 
<laughs> yeah, just check. Guys, make sure you're smashing the like if you're watching this on the replay. Please make sure you do share and subscribe to the channel. As it says on the screen, some of the views that you did hear today on today's stream, they are the views of Savage and not anybody else. Peace. Peace.